Hello, good evening and welcome to Dysylvania. Dysylvania. We, we are a bunch of lovable geeks who meet every Sunday to play Dungeons and Dragons. And, 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 and speak very beautiful vampire English. Oh, vampire <laughs> English. <laughs> Ah, I am Count Bear, your DM for Iceras, this place where our heroes almost uh, felt to madness and despair as they've delved to a uh, illusory nightmare spire. But luckily they are all sane, so um, stick around to discover this real-time uh, storytelling experience between myself and these brave adventurers who will go introduce them. Muhaha, <laughs> I'm first. Uh, hi, I'm Karina, and today I'll be playing for you CP, an adorable halfling warlock who lives in symbiosis with Zolux, my other character, who is uh, the spirit of an earth elemental that likes to devour souls and learn about uh, being more friendly. Hello, you might be wondering what's up with this. Uh, well, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> uh, my name is Bogdan. I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing uh, Borland Broadback, a um, ruggedly handsome paladin with the, the man on a mission. That's what Borland is. And this uh, is a disagreement that I had with a demon at some point. Hello, I'm Karina, and I'll be playing an adorable half. You know what? Oh, it's the wrong twin. It's the wrong twin. I'm Carla. <laughs> I'll be playing an adorable Earth Urgenasi uh, that is completely blue, non-binary, and very quirky, and lot, asks a lot, a lot of questions in this creepy voice and doesn't know anything. That's not creepy. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good luck, Hi, I'm Leon and I'll be playing a vampire whose name is Graven, who died. <laughs> and did not go insane the last session because he rolled really well, guys! Oh my god! <laughs> my <so>. eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Holy water! Holy moly! Where's I'm everybody? Roots. I'll be playing Shelly, the constantly hungry turtle barbarian who can't wait to taste his first popcorn. Popcorn! <gasps> popcorn! <gasps> popcorn! <Papacorno. laughs> Hello, I'm your Roots, and I will play Silky, um, a gouty mercenary who can't wait to tell the party more about himself. Oh! oh. Today's the day! We'll see, but uh, before um, um, we dive into the adventure, we have a few announcements for our friends. Q Q Q announcements. The announcements. <laughs> Talking about cute announcements, I have a confession to make. We've been cheating on you guys behind your backs, me and Rooks. Me? No? <laughs> yes, you. No. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh no, not again! <laughs> <laughs> not, not like that! Not like that, we've, oh. we've been playing another D&D campaign. <gasps> I mean, it's not filmed, of course, uh, but, you know, we decided to make a song about it, just to, I mean, not to brag, but, you know, you just don't want you to miss out on anything, you know? So it kind of goes like... So you'll learn more about like it. Like this. <laughs> so. Shitty DM smirks with a glee. So many encounters, no chance to flee. Character crush need the DM's hand. Heroes die way too often in this land. A dragon roars, a fiery breath. You turn to ashes, yet another death. Impaled on spikes, so what a gruesome sight. That one unsafe just follow the light. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die In these campaigns you always die A gelatinous cube, an Uzi end The warlock swollen, you just lost a friend 
teleportation gone wrong, you free fall. <laughs> An endless pit with no escape at all. A mimic's grim and the deadly snare. Your baby's gone down on the monster's lair. Rolling at one on stealth, you won't survive. Now you've been found and you'll be eaten alive. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die In this campaign you always die But fear not friends, there's a guiding light It's the elemental beacon shining ever so bright New mean is ready, the dungeon nears the lights They'll stick with you through all the fights Through campaigns and tales where characters die Elemental beacon guides you to a brand new life it dies Pennsylvania 10, a code to save for 10% off all those you mean is new crave. Dumb ways to die, so many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die, so in this campaign you always die. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Ah, that was such a nice I cheated, but still <laughs> cheated. Oh, uh, but not cheated but on death. Yeah, thanks, mm -hmm. Elemental Peter, <laughs> for not cheating me in death. Uh, only yeah. in life. That was so nice. Like I always like when it's a surprise announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Almost always is a surprise announcement. <laughs> oh, Unless wow. you, you're the ones who has to do it, so yeah. that, yeah. 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 Been yeah. there, done that. Mm. Uh, can I also has a, have a surprise announcement? You can have one, well, yes. Uh, I can have, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is such honor. Um, after I had my small accident uh, riding my scooter yesterday, I felt inspired. Uh, after I hit my head in a young man's face. Um, you should see the other guy. Uh, the pavement. <laughs> I, um, um, I wrote a small poem. Oh. Uh, and I would like to read it now. <clears throat> in the whimsiness of Zeus, let's raise a great cheer for rolling hills crafts and then drink some beer mm. from miniatures painted with love and finesse to scenic creations that surely impress my goodness my gracious you'll say with a grin it's just like an elephant bird please let me in for landscapes and heroes so vivid and bright rolling hills crafts get it perfectly right but wait there's a twist oh yes yes indeed a promo to give you that small extra need. Type the promo code at checkout. Don't you let it slip, and you'll save 10% off your magical trip. So whether you're hoarding or even a who, we have what you need and a discount too. Open your mouth and make your choice count. Rolling Hillscrafts paints minis that impress even your aunt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right, Felicia. You have bashed your head, sir, but you have gained wisdom <laughs> and, and a nice tail. Cheers. <laughs> Turn around. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. And an organ. <laughs> <laughs> and an organ. And the night. I'm done. Man, amazing, amazing. Um, a kind of reminder that if you like our content, consider subscribing uh, to our YouTube channel. And uh, of course, if you're feeling extra spicy, we appreciate know that we appreciate all your likes and comments, and um, we're uh, we glad the to the read them. And um, yeah, just uh, type them down below, guys. So. Um, Right. Do you like Bogdan? Do you like Arina? Yeah. Do you like us? Do you how like the, the poems? How was the weekend? Singing. Like, <laughs> how, how, How's your dog? What are you thinking? Do you have a dog? Do you have a cat? I have two cats. What are you drinking? Uh, what's <laughs> a weird, specific place that you like to scratch? 
Yeah, exactly. So um, <laughs> we appreciate the bathroom that, usually. Those I'm comments. totally gonna use it. <laughs> <laughs> so right, with that, it is time then to go ahead and uh, dive into Dysylvania's next adventure in Isera. We will start the episode with a recap on uh, what happened previously and uh, we do see the party now in the um, grand capital city of the elves in Isinabel following some threads of mysteries, especially regarding uh, Sildren's brotherhood and that of the Cabal Tinted Eclipse. And uh, we do see um, the party reuniting with uh, Iptin Amberheart, one of the members of Sildren's Brotherhood, who alongside with him and their newfound friend, uh, a pa uh, zealous paladin of uh, Zarus, uh, Borland, brought back, they've uh, started investigating some missing disappearance of folks around the city. And uh, this investigation has led them to the Luminaris Council Spire, where uh, they did find out that uh, none other than the High Chancellor of uh, the Council in the, the city, uh, Aranis, has Rainar Aranis, has uh, been abduct abducting people here and there alongside with the help of a lunar champion named Landon. And uh, as they have delved deeper inside the Luminaris uh, chamber spires, uh, they have found and released the prisoners, though not before being uh, trapped in an uh, illusory uh, nightmare that uh, was created by the said uh, uh, lunar champion who tried messing with uh, their brains and making them not know reality from nightmare. But um, they did pass the trials and in the end uh, some uh, they managed all of them to actually escape the mirage more or less sane but uh, now that they've um, emerged back into the city proper they received all the um, thanks from the prisoners and uh, they would uh, now just uh, go to rest in the barracks nearby here in the luminaris uh, near the luminaris <laughs> council spires and um, yeah it's where we left off with you now uh, waking up after uh, that very eventful day previously and um, the weather outside it's quite nice though at this point of uh, time you are now in the uh, warm harvest it's the name of this month in which uh, the um, weather slightly changes and uh, compared with the previous days now it's slight, slightly getting more chilly and there's uh, winds picking up here and there but uh, overall still a nice day and uh, what would you like to do guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you see blood? No, I've seen blood. Oh. Am I the only one who slept really well? I mean. No, and you see Whisper is like cling clinging and clenching to your, uh, I don't know, neck areas. Like they're very close to so the wind world. They <laughs> slept in a bundle, like everyone is oh. bundled around you. No, we also slept good, yes? Wind world. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and I'm looking at Windworld. 
shouldn't you be sleeping with Sylvian? I mean, <laughs> what what happened? I mean, it's a relationship. What he what did he do? He starts growling. I don't get. Uh, whisper. What did he say? He uh, is the day. Oh, the day he said. Sorry, I'm. And the day he said, it's uh, none of your business. <laughs> so it's complicated. No, they usually sleep with me, but sometimes with children as well. Oh, okay. So. Uh, also, children is here, and he's too much of children. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that out of character that maybe Queen Worm. Uh, went to sleep with me, but then during the night he went out and... <laughs> he definitely did that. <coughs> so the final answer is... Which is none of your business. <laughs> then it's a... Not for me, I, I, I get it. Um, <clears throat> so what are we gonna... Do? Is the paladin, our friend, alive? Alive, uh, <laughs> uh, awake? Um, hey, Borg, are you awake? Um, <clears throat> yes, I've been meditating. About what? Death. Ah, oh, the dying is the good. Yeah, I mean... Look at you, you're very close. Uh, yes, I uh, I need to get myself patched up. I'll go check with uh, Lady Silverleaf to uh, see about your reward. And popcorn? Yeah, what about the breakfast? That as well. You actually maybe a, a big meal would be a, a good thank you to all of you. And then uh, where do you uh, where do you want to head from here? But have we talked about what are it? You doing? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I'll go see Lady Silverleaf, uh, and I'll leave you to decide. Okay. And uh, I think uh, until things cool down in the city, I might be able to accompany you for a bit. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Also, you are uh, you. You owe us. I owe you. Yes. You owe us a story about the gate. Oh, you said yes. this a day ago or something. When we have time, we have no time. Maybe later. I think just... he has no story. He's just bragging about stuff that he doesn't know. He, he will, you will see, this is a strategy. He keeps postponing and postponing till, you know, we forget about it. He walks out. Yeah. Are you the lying? Like with the farts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he seems really cool. What are we gonna do? Because we don't have... I, I, do we have anything planned? I mean... For what? For what we're gonna do today, tomorrow, then the next, I don't know, week. I mean, but, but you wanted to come to Ipsina. Yeah, yeah be besides what I'm trying to do, I mean, what are we gonna do to, today? Do you think that we have any chance of going back and finding that uh, armored giant? The dude from the... from the... yeah, no. I, I, I don't... I... Yes, I would yeah. like also to find it and kill him for kidnapping me. If that makes sense. I could try I something, but I would need Whirlwind to become yet again a eagle. It's an albatross, but okay. Uh, albatross. And it's Whirlwind. It's World. Wind, wind What's world. happening to me? Am I... The, the I tower? Oh my god. You seem a bit flustered. Are you sure you slept all right? It yeah. was a bit crowded in I, your bed. Yeah, but I slept better than... Oh, I mean, since forever. I didn't oh. sleep very well. Windworm snuck out during the night. Oh I hugged myself. Hearing these words, Windworm uh, just pans up to a bit and then you know makes the, the those sounds that dogs do when they they feel they disappointed sort of their owner and like say you're sorry say you're sorry uh, of course uh Wimbledon, you can leave to sleep with uh, your other blue friend whenever you want we'll always have tomorrow 
full moon has pets. <laughs> they come very gently and they sort of rub their head with their big fluffy white mane against your uh, left eye. <laughs> Even though they're, they're tall, probably they will like, uh, they could have reached at least your shoulders, but uh, they rub it. <laughs> like they try to push themselves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Uh, it's uh, it's all good. We can uh, do the same again. We can just leave it in the middle of the night. I won't. I won't be bothered by it. <laughs> now he starts uh, licking your face. Uh, I can I, I can do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really stupid idea. Okay. What about I? Mean. I message the dude we saw last night and I pretend to be one of his soldiers, uh, minions, and ask him, hey master, well, where are we tonight? Where, where, where do we meet? We've lost something, I don't know. What if he asks for your name? Or rank? What's a good or... villain name? Because <laughs> I have none. You, you just say you always call me number three because you forget my name. That that might work. And also because you're kind of mean to me. But my name is Joe. <laughs> Last name Mama? <laughs> Joe Mama? If you want as well to find this uh, person, or creature, I suppose I could start telling you more about what I've recently found. Okay. What is this, Hildrin? Um, what did you found? It seems that indeed the goddess of the moon is Lissim in this world. Bing! Wow! And apparently um, that's where Sildrin comes from. From the goddess of the moon. Yes. She... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was real, but she spoke to me. What did she say? She was in pain. She says she is trapped. Not sure it meant in a conventional way, but... Whatever's happening with this ritual, with this blood moon, may be affecting her. Hmm. Yeah, but isn't the blood moon something that happens every five, ten years? Why now? If I'm not mistaken, uh, the first blood moon happened 500 years ago. Um, when, uh, it was also... Uh, uh, around that, okay. yeah, around so that. So before that, it's, it wasn't something normal. No. Okay. So... Um, I think that's when uh, her troubles started. Uh, and what was the name of that? Um, could you please remind us the name of that incident 500 years ago? It's uh, the fall of Keneka. Uh, there was Keneka, it's um, this um, now fallen god who became corrupted, and um, his uh, aspects were that of. Um, sort of war and bloodlust and savagery and um, when he started his uprising he wanted to go over um, he, like from the texts, religious texts he wasn't quite allowed in uh, uh, Aithea but uh, when, during his uprising when he tried uh, climbing and getting over there uh, Zarus, the Emperor of Justice, actually uh, came down and they had this grand fight. Uh, uh, titanic, uh, like, glorious fight, in which um, he finally uh, slain uh, Keneka, but uh, with his uh, dying breath and wish, um, he put the curse upon the moon, Cyrilla. But we didn't know those exact uh, uh, details. Did we? Or did, did we? Uh, it's 
knowledge. I mean, it's kind of public knowledge about this. I mean, of course, most uh, more those who are keen on religion would know these tiny details, but. Um, the overall general knowledge is that, uh, yeah, the Blood Moon uh, started when Keneka was struck down. Okay. And uh, yeah. so you see, Draven, it may be all connected. The fall of Keneka may have also caused the fall of Lysim, in a way. So, her powers ish became her own trapping. The thing that you... He does bear uh, quite a resemblance and she did tell me that uh, her uh, previous champion uh, must be replaced. Well, by me. Did you ask? Or maybe it was wishful thinking. Did you ask uh, Lysim why she isn't part of the Pantheon of Virtues? I did not. Discuss her, man. Why she isn't there? Oh, okay. Like, I... Is she not a real god? I will. What if she's Keneka in disguise? I will ask that as well. <laughs> Keneka in the sky. And I uh, summon Siltrim, and uh, I uh, <coughs> yeah, I join the same space as he does, so that I, it's like Siltrim is glowing a bit. <laughs> and I ask, shiny. <laughs> Jinx, listen, can you hear me? Are uh, you by any chance Keneka? <laughs> no, no like this. <laughs> But how? Can you communicate with your gods at night? How did they appear? Did they appear in a dream? Uh, no, in a forest. Or, or in, you know, at night? Yes. Okay. But this well, doesn't make sense, it's the day, so you know. Uh, that's what I. Oh. Yeah. But the moon also is sometimes during the day. But is it outside? It, it would be, actually. Maybe they're yeah, sleeping. But, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Mm, the moon is outside. Moon, listen! <laughs> it's listening. No, it's listening. <laughs> I don't know uh, how to control this, but um, I do feel more powerful. What did you feel when you talked to her? Feel? I don't feel that much. Mm. Maybe you don't let yourself the feel. You do feel because you got upset when Wind World moved during the night. So but I said, affection. I said that was okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is very cute. I would like to partake in the okay. hugging as well. <laughs> they will learn, uh, run and just hug you all, yeah. And the wisps of air just surround us in a small, like, tornado uh, fan effect. <laughs> I like this family. I also didn't have another one, but I like this family. <laughs> I, I like you too, yes. All of you. Oh. I feel that that was very hard for you to say. I don't well, know why. I was hard pressed by a turtle <laughs> <laughs> into saying it. Those are the best hugs. If you don't feel just a little bit of pressure, it's not a proper hug. <laughs> Selvin won't say afraid, but he was squeezed a bit. <laughs> Well. So, so back to my first question, we have two ways of uh, finding this guy. One is me pretending I'm one of his minions and maybe make him tell us where he is. Or the second is I 
can track one of his things, but I will need going whirlwind to help me. Whirl whirlwind. I'm. I, I think I hit. I, I hit my head last night. Maybe you oh need to eat. Yeah, let's just go downstairs. No, you know what? Let's just stroll in the city and maybe see what we can find for the breakfast and make but a plan. didn't we tell Bor to go and oh, tell... Oh, he's gonna... Ah, okay. Yeah. But uh, we should uh, be cautious. This guy, person, them, has been a champion for who knows how long and now he's betrayed those powers and probably got even more... Uh, from somewhere else. Hey, do you know who the previous champion was? Did Lissim gave a name or a description in detail? She didn't, but... Um... Maybe it's London, the London <gasps> champion. Oh, wait. I suppose as much. I know. If you think about it, can you bite him and see what he saw? Again. I take his yeah, tail. But, it's... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not hungry. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm hungry, but you can spit it out. Yeah, but I have to ingest it. Oh, because it's a waste. Yeah. I I see what you did there. It's okay. Yes, I will not say anything. What do you think? I mean, what? actually, what what are you both thinking about all of this? I'm thinking to ask Sildren more questions about this whole shenanigans. For example, did Lisa say how she was feeling trapped by any person or method or place or what what they feeling? She did not say, but um, it was always my impression that the gods were these invincible beings. Hmm. But by the end of our uh, discussion, she kneeled in pain and scream. Um, wow. Uh, if I may yeah. help you, you remember, like, uh, regarding this, uh, that uh, she told you that um, she is in a sort of demi-plane prison um, of her own, sort of say, and uh, that she was put there um, by the Pantheon for... Uh, something she did in the past and uh, said that the other gods saw it as treachery though she would like to find a way to return and uh, clear up her name sort of but she's in a demi-plane prison sort of okay since when that she didn't say she didn't say though if we ever manage to go up the pantheon and uh, visit the gods and actually mm -hmm. see them I would like to try to find out more and maybe start to clear her name You have to make a good case with the gods They won't probably listen to a mortal No pressure But I don't know anything <laughs> about the gods so. Like a wooden case? Um, if you want to bring a gift, yes I can help you with the gift. A basket Which? case. Basket case. Oh, those. Do types. you have the time? <laughs> to listen, listen to, to me. <laughs> it's such a green day outside. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's one of my favorite songs, actually. Um. So the plan is. We have, I don't a have a plan. Go have second go? breakfast and then we can start have the first one to begin with. Well, I ate some cookies. Cookies? And you didn't share? Mm. Of course not. <laughs> I had only two. Oh. There's they were a little bit of cookie here. Yeah. 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 You got it? You are not two separate people. You could have shared one. Yeah. I mean, not for me because I do not eat, but for the Shelly. Like, look at I him. will get you popcorn. Okay. Now, the so your plan is to uh, try to communicate with him. Or, I mean, look. Or, let's do the, hey, Mr. I'm number three, you okay. and John. It sounds fun. Uh, shouldn't we ask uh, a, 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 yeah, another 
perspective, he, I mean, he seems he seems very wise. Yeah, I mean, and, we, the, and the gashes on his face, yeah, the, they add up yeah, to that. Yeah, we do. Like I would trust, mm. yeah. Uh, are, that, you, are you the attracted to him? No. Are you? Uh, just, uh, I don't know. But what is this? <laughs> A rash. Uh, uh, the, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. About, um, how about we ask another person that's not us more? Because okay. we have some brilliant ideas. Yes. Boy? Oh, yeah, not that boy. My best friend. Uh, my best friend? <laughs> not that one. Your best friend. Uh, former best friend. Anyway, well, so that place is vacant. My next best friend also bought, so I could put a number on the name. <laughs> so, two things we have either to ask Bor for uh, another opinion, yes, uh, we do uh, our shit our one way, oh, my accent, yeah. And what about your uh, Halbert? What happened with that? I mean, did you feel well, changed? I, I, well, I feel so changed to the core. I'm not the best friend. <laughs> hmm. So should we go there? I mean, in the halls to wait for board to yeah, let's, eat. Yeah, let's and... just go and wait for eating. Xylo and Goba said they will uh, go pray. I don't know so... if they're actually praying. Do, do you think hmm. they'll argue again about Paco and Eryx? Most likely. So let's go. <laughs> That's okay. the. Well, we we're taking uh, some time to just uh, prepare and such. We'll get to your borland as um, you go inside the um, <coughs> spire proper, and uh, you know where her uh, office would be. And um, yeah, she is all um, um, dressed up in very nice uh, garments, um, and um, she uh, tells you. Um, Oh, hope you slept well, Borland. Good, good morning. Hope you did as well, my lady Silverleaf. Very nice garments. I thank you. What the woo? Um, <laughs> and um, uh, I'm I'm here to uh, to talk to you about the the bunch of ad adventurers that uh, that I stumbled upon. Um, we were talking about two two things uh, yesterday uh, evening. One, uh, I think a feast maybe a breakfast would be in order um, and yes. if you will allow me one more day to spend in their company i feel like i would like to give them back my service through my service um, uh, and i kind of feel that my story with them is not done yet I uh, understand uh, very much. Um, so yes, I had uh, I have now prepared some uh, rewards for them, and actually, I know that um, I can't remember his name, but the other human fella, he said that he showed me that symbol and told me something about the cabal and uh, Draven. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, Draven, and uh, um, I did uh, discover. I, snooped a little bit earlier into Aranis' office and uh, while, yeah, he m made sure that um, he cleaned up quite a lot of evidence, I still found uh, one of his robes, uh, I think, that belongs to this cult. Good. And uh, to me it seems like uh, he's really investigating this deeper, so maybe it would help him, I don't know. Uh, I'll uh, like I'll make sure to to let him know uh, that. But my lady, uh, if I know them well enough by now, they probably didn't make a decision about what they want to do next. <laughs> uh, maybe we can further investigate uh, uh, the, the where uh, Arani's whereabouts. Uh, about that as well. Um... So last night, you know, I ordered the, the troops to um, follow his trail, and uh, while it did uh, seem that um, um, his path led uh, westward, somewhere deeper in the Atmos Grove, uh, unfortunately, I, I just received a message this morning from uh, the 
uh, squadron leader that uh, they've lost uh, uh, his trail but uh, we will continue pressing on this um, I'm gonna make sure that the troops are mobilized actually you know what um, I've been thinking and uh, I'll need you to make sure that the troops are mobilized since uh, for now I'm thinking that um, for all you've done so far um, you might uh, require position and since uh, the last uh, Emerald Pact's Warden Commander is well his head is still on the spike outside which yeah we'll discuss about that but um, I think uh, yes um, you would uh, be a great fit for that role he falls uh, on one of his knees I mean he takes a knee uh, and he says uh, it would be a great honor my lady but I shall serve this city no matter what my position might be I uh, understood though uh, it seemed that um, so far or at least who were my personal guards uh, it seemed that they kind of looked up to you they were looking for your leadership and uh, you possess the skills necessary that I think you'll make a good Emerald Pact Warden so um, but there's still a lot to do so yes while I'll, I'll say that um, uh, yes of course take uh, a day off to hang around with the folks um, I would still need you around to um, you never know where Aronis might hear from or what his intentions are but um, also um, yeah the upcoming um, conclave with uh, the high nobles to see and deal with the future of the council of Shaitarl but yeah it's gonna be a lot just to know that I'll need you by my side in the upcoming days and of course my lady yeah. but uh, well I would suggest then um, to all gather up at the dining halls and have uh, the breakfast and discuss as well with the, with the other folks uh, tell Draven of my findings and Oh. Uh, should I take uh, the rope to him now? Mm, if you want, of course, yeah. And Better sooner than later. And um, yeah, I'll see you in 10 15 minutes in the dining halls. I'll prepare the butlers and tell them. All right. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. Take the rope. I, uh, I get back mm -hmm. to them. Uh, you find us downstairs uh, waiting in the halls doing something very silly. Still arguing about the plan, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. No, popcorn is not a cookie, right? Well, if you well, put toffee on it, then you have caramel popcorn. I told you, it can be but dessert. How is this helping us find that on this? It doesn't. We are not talking about our... are we? Are yes. Yes. You were talking second breakfast. What? What are you arguing about? <laughs> when did we have the first one? We didn't one? have the first one. I told you I had it already yeah, without you. Can't we say that we are looking for the first and a half breakfast? Because we hadn't had any? I mean... No. Are we the what breakfast, and a half breakfast? <laughs> Yeah, now Borland joined too. So I have a plan. <laughs> really? No. Um, <laughs> of course. We can... I can message uh, Aralis, uh the lumbering so, dude. So listen. Listen. No, listen. No, no, shut up and you, listen. Okay. Don't list me every options that you have. The only two. I won't weigh in on it. Just tell me what the fuck you want to do, and we'll go do that. Okay. We want to eat. We want to eat, and then catch the guy. Follow me. CP's uh, stomach uh, growls. <laughs> Oh, there goes that fog again. Windward, no growling indoors. Windward is in the back like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, as we walk through the halls, I say um, a um, 
a great breakfast. We are on our way to a great breakfast. I grab the robe, uh, toss it to Draven. This is for you. I'll, uh, Lady Silverleaf will tell you all about it. Have See? I become the robe keeper? I mean, I have this one. I have. He's seven. giving you his clothes. It's something the about the cabal. Oh, so yeah, as you expect, it, it's just a black it. robe, but it has here a few motives of white uh, silver etchings and uh, embroidery. Why does it smell like? It smells uh, like <laughs> enemy. <laughs> enemy. <laughs> um, it's actually perfumed a little bit and as you inhale it a little bit it's something uh, sweet perfume. <laughs> but uh, the thing is um, that uh, you notice it as um, it looks pretty much similar to the um, a robe that you saw when you bit um, uh, Sildren. The one with the guy who came to his brotherhood. And, yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, wait, the coloring or the idea of the robe? Everything about it seems to be the exact the, same one. Yeah, yeah, the robe that he, the guy was wearing, and um, yeah, you even see that uh, here and there, and like underneath, uh, it has uh, the symbol that you have. Anything in its pockets? No. Okay, I think we have Aranis' rope right here. Okay, can you track him by the rope? Uh, we don't think so. Do you need to mm. to suck the rose, the rope's blood or something? <laughs> well, it doesn't there, have there's any blood. blood on the rope. What about yes, leaking? Does yes, leaking sir. work? Does licking what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Uh, but does it taste good? It tastes of perfume. I uh, can't believe you actually tried that. What about this book? And I pull a book from a random book from a shelf that's on the hall. Yeah. What does it say on it? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Um, I, I can see it. Jokes for dummies. Mm. One hundred ten jokes. And what about this book? <laughs> that one would be a um, sort of history of uh, heritages and the customs of uh, the high elves. On uh, especially like that one, it's more on uh, banquets and masquerades and. Oh. Uh, CP, are you dancing? No, I'm trying to catch the book, the Which joke one? one. This seems to be left behind by a soldier. Could you give me the one with the heritages and the? Uh, and I uh, look at it and I I'm try to find a passage about, I don't know, a masquerade from the Blood Moon or anything related to folklore about mm. Blood Moon, like dances and. No, you don't find. I mean, specifically yeah. for the blonde one. Plus, it would take you a bit of time to just go I through. Agree. But uh, no, it's just custom sort of types of. Uh, and I throw the book. Yeah, not important. Type of costume, whatnot. Maybe you don't need to do anything today. Maybe you can just have a time off. Maybe we can eat, and maybe I can probably properly thank you for uh, for helping me kill that that son of a bitch. Uh, I've got a promotion, but nonetheless, um, no. the city is safer because of you. Um, and I have a special tavern where uh, called the Drunken Fist, um, and it's uh, it's a place where I, li I like to drink and fight. I mean, do you drink with your fists? Uh, you, it, it, in a matter of speaking, yes. So, maybe uh, just a night of song and a uh, well-earned rest. We can do that? Are we allowed yeah. to do that? I think this yeah. is always what we do. <laughs> Most of the time. But, but, but don't you want to hear our uh, our plan? I mean, my plan? Oh, so have, you did decide yeah, on something. Uh, we didn't. I mean, we need your outsider's view on our plan. To tell us how bad they are. Apart from me, we're not very wise. I'm, I'm the wisest, but then... They it's are. with the sky. <laughs> if you're so wise, why don't you decide? Uh, you know what? That's a very good question. I do not decide. So you're not wise? Oh, but I am so wise that I cannot decide. That's a nice one. I'm lying. You don't want to decide because you're impartial. 
Yes, I am impartial. Or we sit down. Yeah, at so the you table arrive um, at this grand dining hall, which um, mm. has a very, tips. very large uh, <laughs> arched um, stained windows on one side that are like allows for the sun rays to come over but it's very nice and grandiose like uh, chandel grand chandeliers hanging here and there and um, even the table tablecloth the chairs are quite exquisite uh, very intricate and well made uh, but are some... they uh, sturdy enough <laughs> if you're careful, yeah, if you don't... Uh, uh, I lift my shell a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It reminds me of the silken elegance. And uh, yeah, oh, there no. is a lot of um, oh, yeah. uh, this royal silk, which is a very smooth sort of uh, uh, embroidery that adorns here and there with some paintings and whatnot. And it seems that, um, as you sit down, there are already a few butlers here and, come, uh, here and there that come with plates uh, filled with all sorts of goodies. So yeah, um, you take you sit and uh, after five or ten minutes or so, also Lady Silverleaf um, um, comes in graciously, takes a gentle bow towards you and uh, tells you good morning. Hope you all had a great sleep and uh, again thank you for the um, good of the city you've done uh, yesterday. And um, I uh, know that uh, you deserve proper rewards. So mm. not only that um, I um, have uh, this for you, and um, they give uh, she uh, gives you this uh, sort of emblem of sorts that um, represents. Uh, the symbol of the city which is uh, this almost um, very uh, abstract in a way but imagine it like uh, some sort of a piece stained glass of a rose that's seen from above and uh, it has nicely colors and it shines and shimmers but uh, yeah and she says uh, with this uh, you will be known around uh, as uh, important people and uh, so to say esteemed guests that um, would uh, not only give you 10% off discounts uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the back is Isylvania 10 right? Isylvania 10 <laughs> <laughs> I knew it those uh, rascals <laughs> but um, it will give you some discounts uh, in the shop around the city but also uh, provide you free access to the teleportation devices in here Normally they cost uh, quite expensive, but uh, with this, um, mm -hmm. you if you present it at the teleportation uh, bay, uh, they would uh, just uh, know to provide the service for free. And also um, here, and uh, she pulls out uh, like for the seven of you, each a uh, small uh, leathery bag that's clingy 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 and it's uh, 250 gold each 250 yeah. 250 250 to each nice i will give mine to actually yeah sure i will give it to you because you deserve a raise give it to oh, me yeah, yeah, yeah i know you are not paid very well you've told us he didn't you but i don't need the money I don't give me the money, man. Why you have to give me 150 gold back, so. Because you took my money. I, actually, oh, I gave it to you. Where are gems, though? Hmm. Mm. Let's not talk about it. Okay. It's I search my pockets. You still have everything, so. Oh, right. <laughs> From them? Uh, everything? Yeah, so, like, the bad guys didn't seen? just loot your body. It's that's, a bad, okay. that's a bad, bad guy. Yeah. I know. But he wasn't there for the Mulan. Oh. Right. Uh, so uh, thank you for everything, my lady. Thank you. Right. Thank I, you. Uh, I thank you as well. And uh, I'm curious about you all, because um, at least it seems from your uh, bit that uh, you were quite intent on following this thread. And uh, I know that also um Ipton, uh, the other Leonin. Yes. He, uh, 
I think um, this is my, uh, at least, uh, um, conclusion is that if Aranis was looking for him, then maybe he might know something on this. But wh what I'm trying to say is that um, uh, me personally, I'm uh, dedicated to see this uh, through and um, find wherever he went. So um, I've, I've already sent um, some squadrons out there. Their last location, his last no location was somewhere west of Isinabelin, deeper into Atmos Grove. Not sure where he could have gone, but uh, I'll make sure to send scouts. And uh, it's been uh, troubling me because um, also that letter with lunar champion there's a blood moon happening in 12 days from now i'm not, not sure what to make of all of this but do we know about the letter uh yes. they know you wouldn't i mean when they found it you were still unconscious but uh... well oops um sorry but um yeah if um if you're still investigating this, let me know and I could share news in due time if we find anything. I've um, been investigating this for what? Do you three have months now? I mean. Do you have sending stones or some means of communicating more rapidly between us? Um, you can usually send messages. Um, me? No. I okay. Yeah. Which takes me perfectly to our point. My plans. Our plan. Uh, more, we have two plans. One, we are... Stop uh, calling me friend. Bore. Uh, Boreland. Uh, land. <laughs> Boreland. Okay. Boreland, we have two plans. One, I message the... Guy from last night, the creepy one, and I make myself I mean, I make him believe that I am one of his minions by calling myself Mr. Three. Three. And ask him, hey, where are you? Because we uh, uh, forgot where you were, uh, where, where, where did we meet tonight? Or I use a uh, whirlwind. Wind, Wind world. world. Well, uh, well, they turn into a, an owl and I fly away <laughs> and I continuously try to find the robe that he wears because I've seen the robe. Maybe I've seen the sword that he has, if he has a sword. An owl, robe, sword. Yeah. Are we going to Hogwarts? <laughs> What's Hogwarts? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. So which one of these is likely to... Succeed. Why don't we try both and see which one works? Mm. We didn't have thought about it. I mean, I thought about it. Me too. What did you, what did you just say? Because you seem so excited to plan our events. Yeah, and you seem set on all You seem very one confused with names and names. Yeah, I think we've names. learned that I'm not the planner. I mean, you're the biter. Or the sucker. <laughs> I prefer the biter. By the way, where is Ipton? Where uh, he, we sent him somewhere, right? Back to Saint Slow. Yeah. Slow. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't we send for him? I mean, uh, Lady Silverleaf still wants to speak to him. Oh, in that case, maybe yes. we should go back there just in case he doesn't really want to. Why don't you do the message then? That's what I was about to... Uh, the message towards Zipton or the message towards the bad guy? Yeah. Message everyone, man. Okay, I will message the bad guy. <laughs> uh, before you do that, let's run over. You pretend I am the bad guy because you did not sound the convincing cure missing free uh, names and stuff. What about if we first uh, meet with Zipton and he can tell us more details, like for example, the name of one of the bad guys. Okay, the then I there. can message Ipton to come here. Yeah. Okay. And we'll wait for him. Hey, Ipton, come to the, to the, to dining, the, the dining hall. To the dining hall. Uh, you are summoned by Lady Silver uh, Leaf. 
There is food. There is food. A lot. Okay. Kisses. Sweet kisses. Get a rich power The friends of children. Friends of children. Boss of I am one. Yeah. <laughs> replies uh, saying, um, <laughs> What dining call? <laughs> uh, I, I was 100% here with exactly. the, uh, Javier and <laughs> we were, I mean, I'm glad you guys are alive. We should meet and talk more. That's Message again. <laughs> the tall of Miss Silverleaf, <laughs> which is... <laughs> Portland, quick, tell us the name of the hall. The name of the hall? The name of the... Luminaris Council's fire. The Luminaris Council's fire. Okay. Um, in food. the dining in hall. In the dining hall. No. Um, Blood. <laughs> Blood idea. Um, <laughs> he says... Um, dining hall. But... I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're allowed in the, the in the <laughs> Elven district at the spire. Uh, uh, can't Miss Silverhand? Can't you send for someone no. to take him? Because he thinks that he's not allowed to come here. I mean, you, it's you're, true. Um, yeah, you're quite brash. I could have done that, yes, but because it's. They've told me not. Um, <laughs> don't you go blame the ass. It was my fault. Uh, okay, uh, so... But did he at least tell you where he is? So I know where to send the... <laughs> he said so that... I don't know, ma'am. Yeah, I have said, no idea. He said that he's with Javier. He said so. <laughs> and Javier lives... Uh, we've been there. Uh, uh, on the, you haven't been to him. I know where, where he lives. I know where he lives yeah. because we're being yeah, yeah. corresponded yeah, yeah, through know, Roman's letters. Um, so he lives somewhere on the outskirts, uh, on the outside outskirts. the city walls, um, at uh, his bookshop called uh, the Golden Wordsmith. It's here on the letters, the Golden Wordsmith bookshop. Okay. The Golden what? Yeah. Wordsmith. 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 Yeah. Cool. Uh, then uh, Lady Silverleaf um, just uh, points a hand to one of the sir uh, butlers, tells him some directions, some stuff, and uh, says, um, all right, I've um, sent uh, my men, and uh, yeah, he should arrive here soon. Will Javier come as well? Because if he will, I need to powder my nose. Mm, I... Mm. No, I mean, uh, so far we'd like to restrict the folks. Okay. But come in, uh, at least in here in the... Um, it's okay. At least I can stuff my face like this. <laughs> with powder? No, with caramel with popcorn and chicken pomaja. Guys, I think the blood moon kind uh, affects me. In a bad I way. I think it affects us all. We've been talking about food and not doing like... Yeah, but I'm dumb. I mean... Oh, don't time. be so hard on yourself. You're, you're very beautiful, at least. That. No, at least you're pretty. Yeah. Wait, yeah. you have something... But like old. That. You're pretty old. <laughs> That's what's a piece of my flesh. <laughs> oh! Uh, it's okay. You just needed it. <laughs> it's fine. So what yeah. are we doing? Like... We're waiting. <laughs> we're eating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. wait. During this time... Uh, I will butter one of the butlers yeah. with popped... Uh, corn uh, that is caramelized as well on top of it. Okay, um, does it stick to his other one? The <laughs> thing is, um, um, well, um, I'm not sure if we have popcorn, popcorn but I, I can, can make. go, yes. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go and make, please. Okay. Yeah. Do, you know how, do you know how to make popcorn? <laughs> because it's his pot, yeah. Do you do you squeeze them until they pop? No. You let okay. the heat do the job. And, um, yeah, Lady Silverleaf, in the meantime, she'll do small talks with uh, you guys, but uh, if um, anything you wish to do, or we can just go... And so we up. have to wait for uh, Eptin? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How much? Uh, how long? Well, um, the thing is... Uh, 
around one hour, 40 minutes or so, because it's basically you're on the north side and they need to okay, go all okay. the way to okay, the south okay, side. Okay, okay. And basically, minutes. go so all around. So, 40 minutes of waiting. No. We can do eating a story and, time um, game or eating um, or drinking game. Yeah, we can play a story time uh, game. Uh, it's called I Know What I Did. Let's start with you. And to make it even incredible, uh, tell us about a, I don't know, a gate, perhaps. Tell us the story of a gate. There's a time and a place for everything, friend. But not now. Wise. Told you. Uh, I tried. Um, what about uh, Truth or Dare? We have played that before. Do we have the beverages? Yes. There would What's be... on the table? Right Fine now. Women. I mean, other than all sorts of um, um, foods from. Uh, what sorts of foods? Yeah, so you would have uh, vegetables of all kind, roasted and uh, raw. Mm -hmm. You'd uh, have um, some sort of uh, cooked and uh, smoked meats, and um, also various types of cheeses. Cheeses. <laughs> Boiled sweet potatoes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, on the beverages sides, um, other than some uh, non-alcoholic stuff like plum juice and uh, um, like apple juices, you would also have uh, some um, fine selection of wines. Definitely some plum juice for me. What about the popcorn? It would arrive a bit later, as uh, they haven't prepared for this Do specific order. From the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? But, uh, they yeah, they would bring uh, the Shelly, popcorn. this is for you. And they look like tiny flowers. You probably smell them, right? Try one. <laughs> we don't have popcorn. Oh. We have it, but that's on the table. <laughs> Damn it. It's so fragile. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They fused the uh, also a little bit of butter when making them, and with the carob mold, it's mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah? Didn't I tell you? They're so. <laughs> Crunchy! Yes, it's possible? amazing! Mind blowing! <laughs> Question We have something about a magic portals thingy. Someone told us that we can teleport to them if we have a teleportation scroll. Yes. Who was that person? Oh, who? Uh, it was to the city of the gods. In Gazi, yeah. In but and why? We could uh, also write down the sequence for... Uh, yeah, this that's kit. what I was thinking about. But we'll why it. do we have that? The tenants call not the gables. Maybe she to... calls us. Or she needs so, us, or do we yeah. have find other information? Oh, okay. In Gazia, there isn't because okay, okay, I'm... you, you as well, as well, who has traveled um, around uh, a lot around uh, Iceras, you know that in the, the major cities and the bigger ones. They do have uh, teleportation circle services. Yep. Uh, they do cost quite a bit. You Real know that uh, uh, usually between eighty and hundred gold to hmm. teleport. Yep. Uh, this is my walk. <laughs> but um, yeah, in uh, Gazia there isn't a public one. Uh, but those from the Shield of Retribution they have uh, their own, so to say, which you were granted uh, special access again for. Yeah, just done. For no. whatever reason, I forgot the reason why we had it. So, yeah. Once no we have the scroll, but now that we have the access to the teleportation, is it here, but teleportation you can use it, for example, if you are somewhere in the wilds. So let's right. Say. So we keep it. Yeah. Yes. But do we bye, have bye. access in all the cities everywhere, or in just this city? So, if you use the um, services from this city to go, I don't know, to Eloquenza, uh, it would be free. But if you want from Eloquenza to come here, it would cost you. Oh, so it's just from this city? Yes. So, we have wine. 
We have food. Let the drinking games begin. Do anyone, do you, we play Truth or Dead or something else? Do we have to drink the food? Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing something that I read in a book. So, we take the wine <laughs> and we pour it here and they pour it in a huge bowl. And this is the drink. And you mix it with other stuff. <laughs> and this is the punch of madness. <laughs> Wait, do we it's called bro juice. juice. It's bro juice? Okay, this is bro, bro juice. juice. What is bro? Okay. Ah, from brotherhood. Yeah, I mean, this is brothers. the brotherhood the juice. Yeah. Does it have gold milk inside? We can put some. No. Please oh. forgive them, Lady Silverleaf. They're I mean, different. I'm, I'm. To be honest, I'm a bit curious as well because I wanna, haven't seen you your. Play it? No, no. It's do a bit too early to for me. I have a lot of paperwork as well to do after. But you, what uh, you haven't seen, uh, the, my lady? Uh, like your, your. Kind. Uh, I'm sorry if I may she, interrupt. They are but, very uh, kind. You are from the Feywild. No, I'm from beyond the tempest fence. Um, Was I not? So, I am not beyond the tempest fence. You are here. Um, no, I am. Tell them the business. I uh, this the business of them. I'm lying. You know what? I'm sick of you telling me what to do. I am from beyond the tempest fence. I have saved the people from a great peril, and I have done this a millennia ago. Also, a, a bit my essence. I am an Ergenasi, and I am proud of it. Um. She's like the first Genasi, but different. Hmm. Um, they. they. I won't forget um, that. To be honest, like, you know, my, my job as an ambassador, um, I usually not only deal with the other cities um, in terms of politics and whatnot, but also within the city with creatures from um, the Fey Realm, and we even have encountered uh, only. We actually send uh, a few folks to the. Earth Ganassi community at Gravel Grotto. Uh, but, like. We've been it's there. Hard, it's hard for me to process all this, but I actually believe. I mean, you say that you're an Air Ganassi, and we, we don't know of any other of your folks being around here, and you being here, like, just. Flesh in front of... It's the fats. <laughs> oh no! It's uh, it's amazing, though. Beans. I I have to say, from beyond the tempest fence, is yes. that even possible? Yes. What is the world beyond there? Uh, it's very nice. I have met uh, the dragon. I have met tribes. I have met obstacles. I have met animals and other beings. But then I did not have the eyes or the mouth or the skin or the form. I was just raw air essence. But like I can... a fart. <laughs> sort of like a fart, but more strong. Like a fart. <laughs> like a strong fart. <laughs> that would break your body. Oh. Or a tornado. <laughs> Okay, moving past the fart analogy, um, I think I I understand that because from what I uh, talked and my experience with Earth Ganassi, they seem to have this uh, Earth essence within them. Yes, they and are birthed from the womb of the Mother Earth, which is a crystal. Mm, yes. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> I have also been birthed from a crystal and then traveled and gained my whole story that names me. I have a very long name. I'm, I've been told it's annoying. If you want, I can introduce myself, but it's annoying. I mean, it's not annoying. I haven't it's quite met you all, and this would be the chance to actually get to know each other. I, I wouldn't mind, since uh, honestly, I'm fascinating to just uh, meet somebody from beyond the tempest fence it's okay so you're sure you're the consenting to this <laughs> i mean it's... okay my name is <laughs> dre 
Raven. <laughs> CP. So this translates into I am Whisper. Uh, carried by a breeze to the northwest through the tempest fist before becoming the wind underneath the eagle wings. Fellowship of CP and of Darren. Um. <laughs> Interesting name, I have to say. <laughs> um, I have been named by all the obstacles that I have uh, encountered in that... my 1,071 years since I have been made. So is that like this naming process part of your culture then? It's... Yes, it's part of me. Interesting, wow, kind of quite fascinating, I have to say. Um, well. And then they yeah. are the family, which mm -hmm. are very nice, and they have the welcomed me since I've been walking naked in a stolen suit of an elf from a yeah. forest. And sucking on acorns. Um, and sucking on acorns, yes. And uh, actually, Please she, does, she does uh, look a bit... Can... You it's a day. A little bit, and she looks at the cape, it's and while it is a uh, cinch, because you did find the uh, armor, not it was yeah burning a little bit and quite cinched. Um, she looks at the cape that you're wearing, and hmm, I think uh, this actually belonged to a group of. Uh, diplomats that I've uh, sent to Gazia on a diplomatic mission but I know that they haven't returned and we assumed the worst so <laughs> it's strange that you actually encountered their remains um, um, it was just one and I have found that uh, their uh, Bible, their uh, faith inside their costume, their okay. faith. It was somewhere around here. But I can uh, recite it from uh, remembrance. It was something like, I wish I knew so sooner that is this, what is this greater binding force that governs everything? Something with the power of love. And this is why I'm trying to find it and learn what's that In interesting interesting uh, give me a second because i'm trying to find the name i'm also trying to find it <laughs> uh, you still have it i don't know probably not okay yeah because uh, i think this was actually Chris Rowe's uh, outfit. Oh. If um, Chris Rowe. Chris Rowe. Yeah. Were they a nice person? Yes. Chris um, Rowe, I'm sorry. I. In fact, you know what? I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old I am very grateful that I have given this uh, clothing of Chris Rowe another chance. Understood. I mean, I'm not going to take it off your hands, I, I understand, but um, yes, it's, I mean, now it's just hitting me, the fact that, again, um, I'm, not, I'm still wondering what happened um, to them. I, um, I, I was planning, like, until I got uh, sidetracked with all this Aranis business, I'm still trying to strengthen our um, um, diplomatic um, um, relationships with uh, the city of uh, Gazia. Um, I know that they intend to do something about the Dragonborn uh, menace and um, they had the uh, tough luck with Alaquenza and uh, Anyway, I'm not gonna bother you with politics, but uh, we can bother yeah. you with politics. But uh, first, like maybe we you want to know more about the Dragonborn business. But first, I think it's only appropriate you meet the whole family, starting from uh, here. Yeah. 
my lady. I am a Sylvian, a leader of uh, uh, the Brotherhood of. Uh, I forgot the name. It's uh, <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> something, something Dark Brotherhood. Or something like that. Of the Brotherhood of the Dark Cloud, and uh, <clears throat> perhaps the new champion of Lysim. I'm not acquainted with who this Lissim is, but I think she's a nice person. Mm. <laughs> uh, it seems that she's the goddess of the moon. The one that nobody knew who is the god of the moon. Um, right. I mean, the thing is, uh, <laughs> don't understand me wrong. Um, um, again, it's uh, part of my... Uh, job to get to know other cultures um, as well as I can and I'm well aware of the Pantheon though us uh, elves uh, not sure if you're familiar with uh, this fact that uh, but um, most of us like acknowledge the God's presence but we actually worship the Church of Light which well, is not part of the Pantheon right oh. now okay I trust you so, glad to make your acquaintance. Oh, and put the popcorn bowl down. <laughs> well, actually, uh, my my lady, but you're not my lady. I don't know why everybody calls you. Up. It's but very it's nice a, to make your acquaintance. You a formality. Pretty. Oh. Yeah. All right. What's a formality? You, you just do it, and that's all. Okay, my lady. <laughs> I don't have any fancy titles like Sildren does. I just like walking a lot and adventuring, and then I found these people. Yeah, you all seem to um, get along uh, nicely, and uh, we were forced some... into it. At oh. least at first. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody forced me to do anything. You were just the destiny. Mm. I... I do believe in destiny, so... Uh, okay. uh, it's... I mean, you've already done great for the city and... Uh, I'm curious to know of more adventures that you guys went yeah. through. We did. Without actually even planning them. Look at us. Yeah. But we plan ahead. No, that's a lie. No, he planted ahead. A little bit. We tried to plan ahead. We oh, tried. I'm always talking about we the plan head ahead, but very poorly. And I point towards Draven. <laughs> Which uh, leads us to Draven. Hello, my lady. I'm Draven. And I think that's it. I mean, I'm a cleric. <laughs> and I am on the hunt for the Cabal of the Tainted Eclipse while helping my friends with their stuff. Say thank you for the Thank you for the robe. Yes. <laughs> how did you manage... I mean, how did you find things so fast? This morning I just went into Aranis' office and... Um, which is in here. And... Um, I tried looking for as much information or correspondence uh, what could lead him to the treachery he's done. Though, um, yeah, he masked his uh, uh, shady business quite well and get, got rid of quite a bit of evidence, except for that one, which was uh, hidden in a chest under his bed. Anything else? Not really, just the usual counselor business. Hmm. And uh, what about you? Hello! <laughs> Hi, I'm Sidney. Um, um, you probably don't know me for, from before because uh, I'm the one who was stupid enough to get kidnapped. Um, but I'm all a better now, as you can see. have all my gold back. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I'm on a path for revenge. I want to kill someone who killed my father. 
Hihi. Okay, I understand. Uh, I know that you know, like a grey head. Yeah, but it's very super important to me. I, I promised my mommy that I would kill the bad guy who killed daddy. So. <laughs> <laughs> As her cousin, I would, uh, I would help her. I oh, have the full cousin. support of these. Um, okay, okay. Fine bunch of us. Oh, I'm sure um, I yeah, could uh, I could stay uh, all day and um, uh, <laughs> chat with you folks. But uh, and if that, at that point when the door is open and... Um, no, but before you go... Wait, no, you no, she doesn't go because oh. uh, Ipton, the orange fur de Leon, and, um comes in and um, again uh, looks firstly towards uh, you all and uh, there's a smile on his face. Uh, Is he alone? Uh, just escorted by a guard. <coughs> but um, uh, looks and uh, oh hello and hello lady. Um, it's my lady. My lady. Welcome. It's a formality. And, and, uh, yeah, the ladies of the stuff. Welcome, welcome. Please take a seat and help yourself with some food. We were uh, introducing ourselves and uh, we were discussing some more, uh, um, you know, interesting uh, things about uh, the this cabal of tainted eclipse. But uh, come, please see. He takes a seat and um, he starts immediately just. Uh, Taking a few bites here and there, and uh, Ipton just addresses to you, uh, like word already spread last night um, around you in the foreign quarters district that uh, you, some, yeah, you in the you guys uh, rescued them and they were all happy. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad to see you made it. But uh, what did you find out? Did you any leads that could? Uh, bring us closer to saving our Driors or the rest of the brothers? Not yet, but we do have a plan which involves um, involves Draven impersonating some low-ranking individual that would just message over distance this lunar champion oh. London. Land. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. London Major. London Major. Land. 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 But um, if he's such a low ranking individual, won't that arouse suspicion? Maybe they're not supposed to be there. Maybe. If maybe you can give us some insight. I was about yeah, to tell you that, that um, um, this heavy plated individual I uh, while I was eavesdropping I did see him just um, having discussions though he never publicly announced everyone he usually kept to himself and like he only had discussions with uh, uh, Aranis uh, and I'm he seems to be a bit sort of the lone wolf type like I'm not sure what his purpose is in this in this uh, whole grand plan or whatever this is but um, um, the few times he made his appearance uh, he only addressed Aranis and uh, there was this other guy but though I couldn't see his face. I don't know. Couldn't quite see and approach. I just saw him in the distance talking with somebody else, but I don't know. Do you have a name? Or have you heard him talk? Do you know how he sounds like? I don't know. I feel that I don't know, like a bad guy. I, I don't know. <laughs> he. The I feel that this is a, it's a, it's a, it's a solution right under the nose that we are having right now. What about if we impersonate Aranis? But how Isn't do we... Isn't Aranis land? with him? I don't think so. Where did we last see? We saw him flee, but what Where? if... Uh, asks. Uh, from below. 
with a uh, underground tunnel, it seems, but it was not completed, and we are not sure how he got out of it, Ooh. or where he went after that. It's uh, it's Lady it's Silver Lucy, uh, our scouts actually reported that he was last seen heading west into the um, Atmos Grove. What? Oh. Borland gets up. Should we uh, pursue, my lady? Um, as I said, uh, I'll need you rather here in the city. Uh, there's still a bit of tension, and uh, as I said, I'll, I'll give you the list of the name of the squad leaders that uh, I've sent the scouts with. And uh, Fine, so about the tension in the city, where do I need to uh, make well, the tension be less tensionate? Well, so far, as I said, today uh, it's fine, you can take the day off to... Um, Starting to, to be frustrated and, and fidget, he says, but, uh, all right, but, my lady. Um, but, um, as I said, with the upcoming conclave, I need to see how I'll uh, manage all the internal affairs uh, and... Uh, Politics. But Grabs just, cup. just uh, I'll, you know, I'll need you here more myself. I, I feel safe around you, knowing that you're around. Mm. And, um, Yes, uh, I'll have to meet with the um, uh, with the um, um, nobles, uh, elven nobles around at the next conclave. So we'll see, but that won't be until tomorrow or in two days. So Fine. we'll play uh, punch truth, and he dips his cup in the punch. That, uh, <laughs> Yay! High five. Uh, no, not in the head. With the hands, right? High five. To culture. To culture. To culture, everybody. Oh. With gust of wind, everybody gets a splash like. Um, we'll say, Ipten, that. Um, um, so if he went west, then it's pretty sure that uh, they do have. Um, their camp or something it's somewhere in the atmos grove for sure it's i mean where um we were um, um staying with the brotherhood before i left though like we weren't allowed quite to join them we were we had to stay separate i think it was more of a matter of uh, trust because uh not sure what that iran is dead to whoever is in this cabal, if they're all brainwashed and whatnot, but yeah, since uh, it was just Dreors um, who would uh, obey Aranis' commands, uh, think, yeah, the trust between the Brotherhood and him were on the low side, not, not to allow us anywhere near their main camps. You think uh, Dreors would have been a uh, more uh... Uh, would be a more appropriate target to message and... I mean, if anything, uh, yeah, we could... I mean, I could show you where he is. I could take you there if they still maintain the camp in the same place. Though, yeah, I mean, just be prepared, children, because we don't know how... I mean, how you I mean, you'll see how your brother is now and you won't recognize him. At this it's... point, I think it's tricky to message either of them because there's a chance he actually got to the camp, both of them. And if we message one of them and they're both there, and if we impersonate one of the other, they'll be on to us. Yeah, I think they already way on to us. So we yeah, could take a chance. They don't know we want to go after them, do they? Yeah, that's a good point. I know. For all he knows, we went there to save CP. Yeah. It seems we stumbled. It's the second time we stumbled their uh, plans. Was yeah. What about if we take the day to unwind, think a bit the plan, and afterwards we go pursue them? <laughs> Some shopping would make me think better. Mm. <laughs> For food? Mm -hmm. Well, no. No. 
Uh, yeah, I think I don't care about the deal, she's uh, my cousin, my other cousin's uh, well-being. But I have a question for you, Mr. Amber Hart. Yeah. How's Javier? <laughs> um, it's fine. Very worried. He couldn't shut up last night about just being excited and also panicked seeing a um, you know, missing friend of his. I, th I think it was you. Yeah, I, I did something not stupid, but. But is he oh. missing me? Um. Did he say anything about CP? Um, he, um, yeah, I mean, he, uh, he, when when we found out the news that um, um, the, the folks have started returning to their homes and people were happy and glad and celebrated and even Winslow, like he was bursting in tears um, with joy when he saw his uh, son return. Uh, he also was quite happy and uh, he mentioned you saying that uh, he hopes that uh, uh, they found you all good and well and... Uh, Just that, that he hopes that I'm all good, mm -hmm. Yeah. Just that? He, was he crying? Maybe he's just not that into you. He was uh, happy. Uh, like he said, he would uh, very much uh, like to see you, you all. Um, I shall. <laughs> <laughs> just drop it, so this is not on it. Okay, I will shut up. Oh okay, yeah. Don't worry, cousin. I'm sure uh, if you would, would like to. He would uh, have eyes only for you. That's bullshit. Uh, well, you always have a, <coughs> a backup. <coughs> Are you the backup? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> no, of course not. I, uh, I was talking more like someone, uh, your uh, stature. What does that even mean? I'm not short, I'm adorable size, I told you. Yes, someone that is also adorable size. Like... He means go back. Um, yeah, I got it. It's okay, we all know. Do oh. um, you always try mixing and matching in public and, and, and planning the love life of your friends? Uh, strangers uh, around? Steve? Never. I actually oh. was just trying to comfort her. Yes. This is what I could do. <laughs> I'm super embarrassed and I will log off. I will take Zolux, take the wheel. <laughs> do, you, no, 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 no. do you do you think that maybe every smile would be able to help us with anything? Like research or Do you think he knows anything? Well, he's with a friend of his who told me that he's quite knowledgeable, so Oh, he mentioned, yeah. yeah. I think he mentioned he is actually in Opria. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, this sounds fun. Are we drinking? Are we shopping? Are we doing both? Are we playing the, the game? Lady the silver oil for say, well, um, I have to excuse myself, I'm sorry, but um, um, <laughs> duty calls, so... Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of paperwork and uh, I need to start, otherwise... Uh, yeah, the... Yeah, I won't have time. So, uh, please, uh, enjoy uh, the rest of the meals and uh, have you a good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, she... Oh, my lady. What should I ask? The lady. What should I ask? Ever smile. Like, informations about blood, the blood moon, rituals regarding the blood moon. What's so, our, the my blood moon is in 11 and 12 yeah. days. What we need right now is to prioritize what do we need. Do we need to catch this lunar individual and Landon and uh, the lunar champion and Aranis? Is that on us? Are the city handling it? Are we unwinding and thinking later? Both what happens on 12 days? Blood moon. Moon? Uh, the moon the starts moon to starts blood. And it's takes over the minds of everyone who's yeah, inside. It's wise to stay inside. Yeah. That's what you said. That's it? Is that actually what is happening? This is what we know from past experiences that happens in this land. Yeah. And again, like, you know, since it happens every 10 years, 
apart from me, but I learned it. <laughs> and um, yeah, the fact that um, you need to stay inside. So every 10 years, even you guys would have just stayed inside of your houses and avoid the direct uh, contact from the moonlight. So, are we all in agreement we're taking a day off or are we pursuing something? No, we're in the dining hall. Yes, eating the popcorn and drinking the bro juice. I think we can take half a day off and do some shopping. Yes. Uh-huh. And then um, the other half of the day, Ipton can just help me pinpoint on a map the yeah. place in Atmos Grove where uh, he was camped. Yeah. And Does perhaps the name information Atmos Grove ring any bell? Um. I mean, roll me a history check to see how much you know about the area. Weren't we in Atmosphere? No. Oh, no, it's a uh, free. So, absolutely nothing. Nothing I mean, at most. Yeah. It's a forest. You, what you know is that, uh, yeah, it, like where it's placed regionally, mm-hmm. regionally it's um, to the sort of northwest of uh, Iceras, uh, and you're quite close to Sinabil, it's like on the outside of the forest and it's quite a it encompasses quite a bit of uh, space of mass of land mass and um, that um, you know that also uh, a lot of um, priests of Ammon total like to have uh, like the shamans a lot of them like to live around there are they still living there <laughs> there are, there are like many tribes uh, dedicated to Amon Total are found around there. But that's about it yeah, with a three. Right. Yeah. Uh, we can do a gravel grotto uh, move. Uh, Atmos Grove, not gravel grotto. No, 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 no. In Atmos Grove, apparently, there live a lot of Jews that pray to Amon Total. Maybe we can employ their help in stopping the. Eclipse. The, the cabal. And if a small army invaded yeah. their place, they would know more about it. If they're not dead, yeah. If they still breed, yes. Oh no, the donors hope they can be alive without breeding. Look at the What? Uh, what? What? I... What? 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 What is no, going on? I actually didn't catch that. What? They can be alive without breeding. Look at Dolvan, that's true. You are mm-hmm. dead and alive. It's, uh, yeah. But I'm still breathing. It's a puzzle. Um, not a puzzle. Are you safe with these people? Yes. 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 Zolux, can, I, can, can we talk upstairs a bit alone? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Don't wink at me. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Mm. Um, so we go upstairs and uh, Selvin would uh, tell you Zorox, uh, you, you are a bit uh, straightforward and you're on purpose at least I'm not doing it on purpose mm. Some people don't appreciate that Your point being Well I, will, I did the same earlier and I didn't mean it when uh, I upset sick. I'm listening. So, you probably know her better at this point. A little bit, I would say, since we're sharing the same mental spells. Oh, is, is she listening right now? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, well. Then perhaps you're. Uh, I don't know how to say this. With words. <laughs> and quickly, I'm losing all the brothers. <laughs> you see. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, let me just uh, send uh, Silton to get you a cup. No, I want uh, to partake in the fun activities downstairs, learn the gossip, the danger, the death. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, uh, 
I do sincere to, to get a cup. <laughs> and, uh, no. No. <laughs> okay, something stops. <laughs> you see, I I just I will just try to look out for a CP and. Uh, of course, me too. We're on the same boat. We think have the little unsuited for soup. We think Goba is even worse than that. So <laughs> let's keep her single, local. I'm not sure I uh, agree, but ultimately it's her decision. We no, should... but we can advise. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure she appreciates it. The advice? Yes. She can. She's a tough cook. She can cook it. Maybe we should give less advice. Unless requested. Or uh, with uh, less people around the table. That should definitely happen. So, uh, if, that's uh, it? if Sip is listening, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, that's it. it. Thank you for uh, listening to Thank me. You. This is bad. Good. So downstairs, and I start hopping downstairs. Hey. So um, yeah, you all um, you gather again. You drink the brew juice. You like you're stuffed with all the goodies. And uh, what's it gonna be? Short I um, I I I take whisper. Um, no. For uh, some private for a private talk. Um, okay, taking the brew juice. <laughs> hey, leave uh, some for us. Okay, leaving the brew juice. I have some. I have a cup with me, um, and I casually speak to her and say, "How come? Yeah. How come for a, an entity that lived for over one thousand years old, you're you know so so little about humans and humanity and uh, what's what?" So I know what's the most important about humans that they need air to breathe and they for the forge a path and they sort of travel and then they die and then everything that they compose feeds the new nature this is what i experimented but in this body i have learned to talk with them because i have a mouth and eyes and ears to hear so i do not know a lot about humans and they are very humanoids actually and they are very curious to me like they make such a fuss about everything. Well, some things are fuss worthy, I guess. That's kind of what I I uh, I figured uh, since you lived so long, I could get some advice from a wise entity like you. Really, this makes me feel valued. Another thing interesting about humanoids, they have the feelings and sometimes it's just <sighs> overwhelming. Yes, uh, all the feelings that you feel make you feel like you're the center of the universe. And sometimes, you're all, all that matters. Sometimes, but sometimes the feelings can make you feel small. Yes, I did something bad. What did you do? You're good with secrets, right? No, I'm terrible with secrets. But if it's... I mean, terrible with lying. I'm very... I'm good with secrets if no one that I do care about asks. <laughs> but you know what? I can make a pact. I can add keeper of secrets, then I have to obey to my name. I just need to tell someone, and you seem like the entity that might help me. I'm listening. I, I feel like I don't deserve this promotion. This. City, I <clears throat> I don't know who my parents are, but I was raised by um, some people at an orphanage, um, and actually these elves 
they uh, they know how to manage a city and a community. Okay. I uh, I had I actually had a happy childhood. I'm grateful to this city for this, and that's why I joined the guard. One day there was havoc, screaming, smoke, people dying at the gates. Who would have thought that someone would attack the... <sighs> Maybe I should leave this for later. No. Like, I mean, only if you feel it. But, um... If... By the end of the story you feel like... A person like me shouldn't be alive. Please feel free to kill me. Okay. Thanks. Sharpening the knife. I, I knew you'd understand. Um, our squadron was mobilized. We, uh, we went to defend the city. Many people did. I had no idea how shocked I would be as I would see who was attacking us. Who was attacking you? I was just a child. A child? I was just a child from the orphanage. Same age I was when they found me. He was infused with wild magic. He couldn't control himself. He was just crying as wild magic was uh, was escaping his body and killing everything in its path. Okay, and then what happened? I had to kill him, although he begged me not to. Although all the soldiers, my brothers around me begged me not to. But I had to put a, an end to to the killing. So I did. I crushed him. And then, as if that weren't enough, I also killed my fellow soldiers. So Why? that because I I couldn't have anyone in the city know that I killed a child. You see I'm Loved in the tavern, I sing, I dance, I tell jokes and stories about bravery. You know what, Portland? Bravery sometimes is knowing that you can overcome what you have transgressed in the past. Bravery sometimes feels and should be about forgiving yourself. I don't think you did a bad thing killing a child that was destroying the city, even though it was a child. New life, but new life that brings doom to the world is not welcomed. But my brothers that were trying to stop me? I don't know about that. It seems like a... They were in my way. It seems like a unnecessary sacrifice. It seems like you're a villain in their story. So, should someone like me be the new captain of a guard? I don't know with, if this would happen again. Will you still kill your brothers even though... Only if they try to stop me from saving this city. Maybe that's the greater good that everybody's talking about. Like sometimes you have to make tough decisions. And sometimes this is bravery, killing a child, killing your own brother in just to save a city. Maybe this is your own weight that you have to carry. Keeping it in silence, knowing that you have to just Live with it. So no, I don't think you need to die. I think there is room for people like you in this world that have to carry 
the heavy choices. Thank you. It's it's quite a relief to be able to talk about this with someone. I am I am also overwhelmed with feelings. I don't I can't discern them right now. But uh, I am glad that you have find you have found room to share this with me. Make a small bow, raise my cup, smile in the corner of my mouth, and leave. Bro juice. <laughs> yeah. So um, at that point, um, um, the next thing it's uh, you going uh, back into the city proper to just uh, buy stuff and yeah, right? And sell stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We are not splitting up, by the way. Yeah. So yeah. No, we are not <laughs> ever splitting up. So mainly, like, um, normally it's still technically illegal for you to be uh, within the multipass. Yeah, the multipass. Lilo multipass. <laughs> so, um, like uh, everyone around here gives you a stink eye, like. <laughs> but, uh, nonetheless, uh, is there any particular place you'd like to go? The Drunken Fist. Let's go, to the, let's uh, go to the shop. I would like in the Drunken Fist, but take the produce with us. Sure. Yeah. We put yeah. it in let's the back. Let's you know, like, yeah. A magical shop. Let's go to the... Wait, because we have a list, actually. You do have a list. from Ithia? Or, uh, that's in Gaza, yeah. You can oh, go there. Favorite um, <laughs> wears shop. This yeah. Is a... I would like a magical shop, oh, but we'll not really work with this if we well, Okay, yeah, yeah uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go I'm there. I'm just looking for a spell that inevitably oh, traps yeah. someone within while not being able but, to be dispelled so, from the thing is, within. All right, so let's... <laughs> uh, so basically, first uh, destination is uh, Fey... Uh, uh, Fade Fade wear. Wear. Fade wear. Wear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fade okay. Wear. So, um, in order to get there, you need to go um, to the foreign district and uh, pass through the um, uh, Serene Gardens. And um, once uh, you enter uh, the fabulous and very peaceful uh, um, park that is here in the heart of the city, um, I mean, I'm guessing this is my <laughs> guess that you're passing by the center where again the orb of uh, the ever flowing water of um, Amon Total is uh, his artifact, and uh, you whisper, notice that there is a um, familiar figure who seems to be in a, some sort of a pilgrimage in there the this a bit more uh, dark uh, skinned uh, uh, human fellow with uh, very tribal looking robes that has uh, um, shorter almost uh, dreadlocks uh, and uh, having a uh, staff and um, uh, uh, no, it's human, but uh, he um, he, looks there. he seems to be in a prayer, and then uh, just um, taking in a, a big breath of air, just even with his eyes closed, then turns towards you, and it's open its uh, green eyes, you recognize this uh, as a bishop, the shaman who brought you into this a world. is a male? Uh, it's a female. Okay. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I mean, I said he. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my bad. Um, as she, yeah, my bad. He. Um, <laughs> as um, yeah, as she turns um, towards uh, you, then um, I feel. I, I I'm sure I felt a very special scent in the air. I whisper. 
Bye. And that's where we'll take a break. No. <laughs> I can't fall into that you. Bye. Bye. No. Here, yeah, take no. a bite of potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do that in real life. What? Potato chip. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Elvish is Buna Ziwa Shlarabediere. Shlarabediere. Cool. Buna Pa. Pick up in uh, just a little bit, guys. Just See a little ya. bit. Just a little bit. Just a I can eat that. The ball of the mouth is more of a boy. Nom 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 nom
welcome back. We will now um, resume with uh, you uh, taking a peaceful stroll to the Serene Gardens as uh, you whisper our met uh, uh, with the first person who actually interacted you the moment you came on this, uh, uh, you took this form, with uh, this um, person, this shaman of Amantotal, Abija. And uh, Hi. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, she, to, uh, they are blowing hmm. their uh, hair out of their face. <sighs> it's you. Quite, yes. Hi, guys, this is Abisha, the one who gave me this. <laughs> they put towards the hands. The hand? They gave you hands. Now the body. Oh, Thank where did you. you get the body? Mm. I have made friends. Do you want to meet them? Um, oh, I'm sure they're all lovely. This is Sildren. No. This is, and they don't wait for a visual defense. This is Sildren. She is a mercenary Leon and he's very grouchy. Uh, this is Shelly. It's a very sweet, sweet uh, turtle folk. And this is Draven. His name is actually Darren. He is very into blood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and what's that? I don't know what's that. This is Borland. He is, Greetings. He is wise and also bruffed up uh, because of wiseness. And this is... And makeup. And, and makeup. And this is uh, my friend CP. Hello. She is the adorable size, mm. but has a taste for vengeance. And she will murder you if you're not okay. You are cute. I like your clothes. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, and the makeup is not bad either. Um... Well, it's my natural appearance, but thank you. Um, well, um, I yeah, glad, glad to question. see that you've made friends and uh, went out to find your uh, destiny. But uh, um, uh, what is it? It's very important. Should and we leave you to, uh, to discuss? No, I want you to hear because it's important. I have tried to seek the answer to this a while ago. Where do you find those antlers' horns? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you see, um, as uh, we, it's part of our uh, religion that uh, we have uh, these uh, antler horns, and uh, we mainly take them off uh, dead uh, deer that we find out there in the wilds that uh, um, we in a way as you might very well have understood this it's one way in a way that we show our respect to the nature and we recycle we try to recycle some of it and uh, and the dead um, yes mm -hmm. this uh, it's, uh, it's a symbol that also kind of reminds us of uh, Ammon Total, as uh, um, he as well has uh, some horns of his own and uh, okay. resembles uh, his uh, guys a lot. Okay, so these, and uh, they rummage through their package and take the antler horns that they bought from the festival made out of food or plastic, are the fake, right? I spotted it. Um, perhaps... Okay, uh, throwing this away. But so, I bought them for you. Keeping them. <laughs> so... Um, so, uh, yes, uh, as you see, this is um, no mere coincidence. I stumbled upon you here, because um, actually it's... Uh, my god, I'm in total, who again, I'm here to carry out his uh, will. And uh, believe it or not, he wishes to speak with you. Really? Yes. Do they accept me? Me not being part of their creation and all? Um, you, again, I told you this the moment you were created, that you are very special to him, that uh, you as poor uh, nature form, the air essence, uh, arriving in this place, uh, it's 
again, no mere coincidence, and um, um, he believes, and in turn I do believe, that uh, you've uh, uh, set in motion uh, a set of events that um, um, he has keenly uh, watched over to see how uh, they develop and how you develop. And uh, he believes uh, that uh, you are now ready to hear more, or perhaps he wants to hear more from you. Wow, I am honored. Okay, so do we go on, on the mountain? Um, he can be found there as well, but he has another dwelling uh, somewhere close by in Atmos Grove. Uh, me from the, my tribe, Mot Motrika tribe, we um, we are known to be the only shaman tribe that know of the secluded uh, glade where he sometimes resides as well. But the only thing he requests is uh, that uh, I only take you and you alone. I'm sorry, this is something that uh, your friends cannot... He's splitting us up. Yeah, what about um, friends? What about Windward? What about never splitting the party? Uh, Ma'am, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but we've split up yesterday and it didn't went well. It went sideways. Well, I understand, I fully understand. It's uh, mm -hmm. not me taking you by force, of course. Uh, you you need to. <laughs> you need yeah. to follow the you know the flow that you feel like it but um and probably <laughs> i shouldn't say this but uh well, um we're nosy and we listen. Um, i don't have a i'm in total uh, <laughs> uh thinks that um whatever he wants to say it's uh, again something that um, according to the laws of the pantheon they are not to interact with mortals uh, very often though um, on rare occasions such as this they do but when they do usually sets in motion some uh, plans and some uh, things that um, there is no turning back, and uh, um, he he believes that uh, by telling only you this, you'd be the only one who would um, know and uh, how to move onward with uh, his knowledge. He fears that this knowledge in the hands well, in the minds of others would not have the same effect so to say i understand and mainly because i know what happened a millennia ago and what my people had to sacrifice and i understand sometimes and they look at borland sometimes some people have to carry a great weight in order for others to survive I'm going. Since uh, uh, your uh, uh, since your concern is about a mortal uh, being knowing about this, I believe Whisper has also an immortal form, or so I think. So uh, wouldn't that count as zero? So she could take another mortal with her. Um. It's uh, well, it's about mortality or immortality here. It's uh, more about uh, her background, so to say. Even if most of the past it's shrouded in, still uh, 
a mystery for uh, you. Um, and in total believes that, and again, I probably shouldn't say this, but he believes that uh, if uh, your some of the memories you have from beyond the tempest fence would uh, resurface, the rest of uh, the the folks here in Iceras might not be ready yet to take those news. And, uh, he wants to discuss this more in depth with you. I understand. So we were going shopping. You want to come with? Um, honestly, I do prefer being more close here to the Spring Gardens and this lovely artifact uh, that has been bestowed upon us by uh, my god. But, I mean, I'll stay here for a few more days so you can find me around here when you're ready whisper but if you want to purchase something you could give us the gold and we will take care of that for you um, so uh, you don't have to move it's fine uh, we i already have vegetables and good berries with how, me how kind of you Cindy. of course I'm sorry, I got too distracted by and, uh, by all the beauty. What's the news? <laughs> I'm leaving. But not now. Well, we're going shopping and we're gonna have a nice day. But afterwards, I have to go with Abijah to see. Okay, and we're going with him. Yeah. You can't. Why? And how long will this take? I don't know. Mm, how long will this take? It shouldn't take too long. Should I can't uh, can divulge. We? the glade where Emma Total resides, but um, um, yeah, I, I mean, you can keep in contact with her if anything, and um, she should be back, depends, but not too much. Um, it's Whisper's uh, decision ultimately, yeah. although we advise against it. But come on guys, how can we trust Wispy with this strange new woman that we met? You know Whisper, she's so naive and trustful and very kind, so I don't think we should let her go. Perhaps having the power of uh, church of, Avanto, of the Church of Avantotal, the priestess... It's a she? Yeah. yeah. The priestess can... Message us every day. It's a fake business. Maybe we can send Gobble. Also, it shouldn't take too long since guys. it's her decision. There. Guys, it's... Let's just focus for a second. The this is the person who embodied me. Who gave me this. Who gave me the opportunity to meet you all. And this is the God who is gracing me. A being that is not created by anyone in the in the mountain the mountain of Ithia is gracing me with the presence, and I think it's because they need help. What if the world is about to implode again? Okay. So soon. I don't know. Like it's it feels very shaky and un unstable. I don't know. <coughs> implode. <coughs> well, I Your suppose. Your dad is showing. <laughs> I suppose a message wouldn't be that much of a effort. Can you message them? You know what? I will send you letters every day. Oh By the wind, I will ask Gentle Breeze, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't read Gentle Wind. Uh, wind World will read it for you. But we can't understand Wind World. I mean, I think Sildrin can. Oh, I know, I know. If he's in wolf form, he can wiggle his their tail if you're okay, and he they can growl if you're not okay. Yeah. But isn't? But aren't they always growling and wiggling no. the tail? You know the tail? what? I will send a different message. I will write you letters, and I will. Okay. That's easy. Let them carry it by gentle breeze. Will that be okay? Or I can yes. message you. Or that. Right. 
Or Dago, do not waste the spell of the slots with on me. I have a million, I mean. <laughs> do not waste your uh, powers, your energy. your energy. It's fine, I have a lot of energy. I mean. It doesn't seem so. <laughs> you are slotless. Okay, let's just finish this day. I'm feeling... No, let's just finish this day and we move, move on with the shopping. Perhaps at the end of the day it will be easier for us to say goodbye. To say no, what you want? Yeah. But it's not forever. Maybe right? she they are super annoying. We can say bye. Do you want me to say my name very fast a couple of times? Yes. No, so we've already <laughs> learned it. And they will do this in the background. I just got it. Well, um, good to see that uh, you're... Uh, all right and in good company, but uh, yeah, you'll find me here when you're ready to Thank go. Thank you. And they get very close and they do their thing where the, they mix the, the wind and lift it up. Which kind of embraces it. <laughs> cool. Um, so, uh, shopping? Shopping. 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 Uh, first, uh, oh, first let you... me... Get this out of the way. I look at CP and I give her the 250 gold or 250 gold yeah. from uh, pouch from the lady. Uh, this is for you. Um, yeah. You can also sell my gem and buy yourself something nice. I throw the pouch around and catch it. Yes, it's all it. in there. Why you? Uh... I wasn't checking that. Mother, rather I was wondering, why did you give me all your money? Because I don't need them. Yeah, but why to me and not the others? Because you like to buy things? I mean, you Fair always... Point. Hey, I'm the one who wants to buy things. Fair so point. I'll give it to you. So what about the gem? Uh, and then the gem, you can sell it and keep the money. I don't know. Also keep the money? Oh my god, I'm rich, you guys. No, you're the sugar the mommy. Yeah. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I do not believe in money. Do you want other stuff to be sh to s for me to sell at the apothecary or something? Oh uh, yeah, actually, we have this scimitar, and he puts his hand in the bag okay. holding. Uh, we have this bandana. We have this smoke bomb. Okay. We have this candelabra, okay. some furniture, <laughs> and other things, <laughs> which we need to sell. Okay, I was so you, I think that's too much for Sippy. No, Do you no, need something? <laughs> yeah, sure. For, okay. for all your help you're doing, I'm gonna give you my... No, One better. Copper. No. I have... Sh 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 I uh, no, back. okay. I have something better. I will give you this extraordinary book that I have. What is that? It's jokes for dummies, 110 jokes. There you go. I'm not a dummy. No, no, the dummies the are the dummies that you tell your jokes to. Yes. Oh, okay. And I will say on the cover, I will write with my pen, Shelley's book of before jokes for dummies. There you go. Aww, I never have. I didn't know I wrote the book. <laughs> well, you do now. And it's all yours if you help me carry all this stuff to the shops. Yes, well, yeah. I would have helped you without receiving anything. But thank you for the book. I'll help as well. I oh, have no more books. books. <laughs> The name puts him I don't need one, and I've closed my eyes to the fact that you actually stole that book. I didn't. Yes, you Whisper did. Whisper gave it to me. Well, yeah, she took it out of a they. out of a they. bookshelf. They. Uh, well, yeah, she stole it. I they. just <laughs> they stole it. I just received it from Whisper, so I'm not the thief. I'm just the culprit. <laughs> Can you just close your eyes on this? I... I did. Look over there! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with the fact that you stole the book. I didn't just, just... whisper stole it. It was me. I like to give credit where credit <laughs> do give. <laughs> credit are... You know, do. It's do. Yeah. Yes. Right. Do. So, um... 
So uh, let's yeah. go. It's this way. You head to uh, a pawn shop where you can uh, sell all, all of these things. And uh, so for the gem, uh, oh, 300. yeah, three hundred. Also and, my gem. And yeah, so. Did I give you my gem? I think you have I, all our gems, I, right? I gave, uh, I back, I'm all. giving back all the gems if people want back their gems. I never gave you mine. Yeah. Fair, uh, Where do you keep it? One. Fair judgment. <laughs> In my fur. <laughs> His name. Okay, uh, and um, for yours it's 500. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. So I will have and, additionally um, 800. Yeah, and for the. Um, the uh, trinkets oh, plus the scimitar, smoke bomb, and whatnot. Those, uh, if I remember correctly, 117. Okay, okay, you have 117. You have 117. We have 117. What? I still no, have my meager 75. So. Yes, yeah. baby. Oh my god, I have so much money, man. Yeah. Oh my god, you have so much money. So money. <laughs> I need it. I want so much to gather all this, you know, amount of money. <laughs> what if it's a small amount of money? I, Maybe you don't want it back. I yet. can borrow it. Loan it? Could you Loan borrow it. It, it without me giving it back from 50 gold? No. It's a small amount. 45. 45 without giving it back? Yes. Tell her it's her birthday. It's my birthday. Seems like birthday. birthday is in 24th June. I know my What's cousin. June? What's June? June, June, June. What are the names it's, of the um, months? June, Gulu, Gulu. Let me have a check to be <laughs> more... Mr. Pamaja. Mr. Pamaja, man. Jujuba. Jujuba. 24 Jujuba. <laughs> Do we have a month yeah. to do one hour? <laughs> no, 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 no. Do we have a Mr. Pamalja man? This is how we call it in uh, Flamra, in Jujuba. <laughs> Mr. Pamalja festival. It's Pamalja, Jujuba. <laughs> Sun touched. Sun touched. Where? <laughs> it would be the warmest of so you. Anyway. Um. <laughs> no, I can give you only 43. <laughs> Gold. Forty-three gold. Yeah, without borrowing, you know, without loaning. If you want the loan, you should give it back. Within forty-three is. Uh, and you, I'll give you something better. No, I'll take if, the forty-three. <laughs> okay then, and then the piece of uh, scrap metal you are wearing that is laser resistant is still mine. Papa, papa. Still. I know it's yours. Let's let's turn it into. Can we like maybe maybe put something on my shield that is re laser resistant, or like some cool gauntlets or something? We should go to the armor and check. Yeah, let's do that. But he needs laser resistant. Otherwise, he pounces on it. <laughs> pounce, baby. <laughs> pounce, baby. Oh no. Uh. Right. So after that, um, the thing is, you could get at the blacksmith uh, that material that you found to be reforged, reshapen. Though I'll say that since uh, when you show it to the blacksmith there, they haven't seen such material anywhere. They're like, how do we work this? They have, they're clueless. They could start trying, figuring it out and doing something, but it will take time. I mean, it's, they, they take it and say, until we figure out how to work this, they can't say for sure. Like, well, what can you make with They it? need to research it, sort of, first before doing it. We need, like, an approximation for at least money, or time, or what can you do with it? Can you do, like, a cool shield? Can you do something with this, with this best plate I'm wearing, piece of or metal, his armor, or something? Depends how much... Uh, how much residue is lost during the process, but we need to research it, so, I mean, anywhere from, I don't know, five to ten days, depends, and uh, the cost, I mean, I'll reduce it since it's an interesting uh, piece of Yeah, and I have also and... this discount pin. <laughs> So 40% off. Great. Um, so um, we can make you, <laughs> you a shield out of this for uh, 
10 gold, but again, it's, I think, more of a matter of time until we figure out how to work with this. But can you make something other than a shield, like enhance our armor, or like a cool gauntlet, or something? I've heard of a shield that protects you by itself. You don't even have to carry it. Maybe you can make that. Yeah. I have tiny hands. I have no use for a shield. Um, I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. I've heard some great uh, Aslan smiths from Nopria, but... Uh, but... No. Um, we work mainly more mundane stuff, and uh, um, we don't have that much magical enchantment uh, abilities. Shouldn't we keep this uh, <coughs> resource till we maybe find our way to Nopria? I mean, you just said that, hey, some Nopria blacksmiths. No, 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 no. <coughs> so. Silver can still carry it. Okay, fine, we do this. Okay. Next. Yes. Portland is outside. Yeah. Um, is any young guard um, around? They would be uh, patrolling here and there, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I take a couple of, uh, of them, I gather up a, f a few guards and I start telling them how once I was young and, uh, and um, telling about my tales and, and, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and so on and uh, trying to inspire them and also mentioning that I'm going to be their boss. Roll me a, a persuasion check. The Just to way. see how... Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> 14. 14. <laughs> okay. Um, since, again, you have already a bit of reputation around. Yeah, she's like... Uh, um, finds a barrel, goes yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, saying... Uh, well, that's... Great news. I mean, I've heard of um, um, the cars that uh, were um, serving you when they were at uh, with Lady Silverleaf, and uh, I've heard uh, stories that you are great at leading troops. Uh, though, uh, really, what I'm, did you hear? I'm I'm sorry to hear about their fate, but uh, they. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, but um, yeah, it says that you have a very tactical mind when it comes to strategy, and uh, that um, you also, uh, yeah, could give it, uh, give good, inspiring speeches. It is needed and motivating them. To it is quite tragic what happened to to the poor souls. It's so listen up. Leaders might come along and ask you to do wrong things. You need to define your moral compass or else your body will be among those that I have slain. Well, um, we definitely understand uh, after hearing the news on about uh, Raynar that uh, we should uh, be less in that uh, very euphoric, so to say, state of mind, thinking that uh, our city is the perfect utopia since uh, he was right under our noses and he did such male malefic Thing. Malevolent. Uh, malevolent. 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 Malevol
Okay. Hello. Who goes in first? I'm I go outside. I'm tiny. I'm, I'm not going in. Okay. You're going in first? Yes. Okay. Am uh, I dead? <laughs> <laughs> um, as soon uh, as you go inside, roll me. I forgot what it is. What was it? But, uh, yeah, Constitution save. A con save. Nice. Bam, you're dead. Natural one, so I will re oh, yeah. re-roll because I'm a halfling. It's a uh, eighteen. Okay, you succeed. But as soon as you open the. Um, the door. Uh, there seemed to be some sort of a small trap, but it just loose, uh, lets out some uh, some dust that uh, you immediately inhale it and just cough up a little bit. You you feel uh, like uh, a bit happier and slightly giggly, but it, it just fades away. Yeah. But, uh, Stop it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and then you see these two fairies that are just uh, hovering around and. Um, and they, uh, uh, one of them says, they don't work this time, don't worry. And uh, addre it, uh, it addresses one to another, um, don't worry, uh, Trixie, for next time I'll make it even stronger. What you were supposed to do? Oh, hi, welcome. Hey. Um, hey. I'm Didi, and this is Trixie. Hey, Didi and Trixie. Um, it was uh, just, you know, a little bit of a prank we like to do to people who come here uh, to make them laugh and giggle. It's nothing harmful, don't worry. Why did you make me laugh by telling me a very good joke? What about that, huh? Hmm, hmm. jokes. <coughs> uh, Surely can uh, tell one. Some uh, new ones in uh, quite a while. Wait. But, uh, <laughs> start scrolling. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, I found one. What do, what do mermaids wash their fins with? What? Tide. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, I What's a tide? Do you know when the wave crashes? The detergent. Um. The detergent of Viseras. <laughs> tide, Seras. Up tide. Up tide. What's up? Um, Outside, funk me up. <laughs> There's only en enough room for one person in the shop. Uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, it is a bit small, but uh, um, it would fit... Or say I'm half a person. So. Yeah, it would fit pretty much all of you, though. And, uh, if you all go in, it would be Cramp. a bit uh, cramped. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Okay. I will go stay outside. Okay, you stay outside. So it's a normal bit cramped. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, fine. But, uh, yeah, there are bits and bobs and trinkets all over the I'm also place. I So oh. what is the coolest thing you have? So is your dad. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Oh, look at this shiny. What you wanna call it? And this sparkly. Uh, so they will say that. Uh, um, they have um, again to not repeat the entire process because we did this yeah, 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 before. Yeah. But they will have the two chromatic roses. Yeah. Uh, they they will tell you that they have mainly stuff from uh, the Feywild, and um, that yeah, these chromatic roses are uh, from there. They have um, a ring of uh, regeneration. Uh, How much for this ring? This one? Um, it's uh, quite expensive since it's uh, also very powerful, I have to tell wow. you. What? You may judge me, I have a lot of money now. So. Um, and, uh, yeah, since it's even rare in the Fey, Fey Wilds, uh, we are uh, willing to sell it for uh, 5,000 gold. Oh! That's a lot of money. For what does it do? Does that, uh, cook for you? <laughs> um, no, dear. But um, let me see. Uh, it regenerates your food, so it turns the steak into a cow again. So you can have endless food. It moves. Yes. No, um, it doesn't move anymore. So I would like to buy a bunch of potions of healing. Okay, we can do that. But uh, on the ring, it's, it tells you that. Um, um, I have this discount it looks, code. And 
this case, it would be international. Uh, 4, so four thousand five hundred. Yeah. Um, Can I give you like one third of this price? <laughs> sorry, sorry. We we accept it all in full. Um, How about uh, payment in uh, in long term? Mm. I mean, mm. she's a. Uh, no, we look at her pretty it's face. Like you might not home. know Enough. who you have in your shop. Mm. Yes, it is I, mm. Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi, Shelly. Um. Um, these brave souls have freed our city. Mm. Oh. Maybe you've heard of the. Trader Theolin Lorik, whose head rests on a spike. Um, not really, uh, but um, okay. Are, are, are you willing to tell me you don't know who, who Lorik was? Mm. No. What kind of a. He was the. He was on the Count's. Oh, the Council, yeah. Uh, they seem like boring guys. Well, they don't take pranks too well. I tried once, but no. He was one of our leaders. He he was he was uh, kidnapping people, and then and, and oh, he was doing that. He was helping with that. So you heard about the kidnappers? So, uh, well, yes, but well, we didn't know that uh, this bunch rescued those folks. Yeah. Maybe you can. Uh, <laughs> Just think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Just think about it. Uh, maybe uh, some of your family could have been ki kidnapped. No, maybe you even know someone that was kidnapped. And if we combine our badges, we already get. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm, I'm counting you too, because I'm seeing your badge. We are already have eighty percent off. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. ten each. Well, well, we combine them and we have eighty percent of them. I know a little bit of uh, haggling, but I, I'm sure that it's not uh, how it works. Uh, Isn't that food but... where you stuff things into a, an intestine and that's haggling? And that, no, that's haggis. Um, you are here from uh, outside, from a bird. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know what? Um, it's what hags do. They go like. She was giving you a discount. Yeah. I uh, uh, no, I can um, uh, give you uh, this and uh, points. Uh, Trixie, bring me the um, um, <laughs> elixir. And uh, she brings you uh, this uh, vial and says, uh, if you pour it into someone's uh, drink and they uh, drink it, uh, they will turn pink for ten minutes. This is free? Hmm? It's free, no? Yeah, it's free. Okay, thank you. Do you have something with blue as well? No, sorry. I think we already have our fair share of blue members yeah, of the party. Yeah, but imagine if we all were blue. <laughs> we would be blue? The blue body. The blue team. Number <laughs> Okay. So, uh, uh, I yeah. want to buy all your potions of healing. How many do you have? Give me a second. 50,000 gold. Um, they will have uh, two potions uh, normal and two greater ones. So if That's you were it? to. Yeah. If you were to buy all of them, 100 plus 300, 400. Plus the discount. Plus the discount would be plus 360. The Remember, he made a valid point. No. 80% off, I believe, yourself. I gave you this gift as okay, appreciation. Fine. Good enough. But, um, so. yeah, I mean, um, so there's also. 400. Yeah, there's, but also. Um, if you're looking to get strong, yeah. I have this potion that uh, will give you the strength of giants, um, of stone giants, or exactly. Also free? No. <laughs> it's one. It's here on this tag say one thousand gold pieces. So yes, I will well, take with that. With discount, it's nine hundred. Yeah, oh, so cheap. It, for an hour, you have the strength of a giant. But uh, if not, also there is this uh, 
Steph, uh, also, uh, I'm not sure how excited what she will do because she was here previously with Goba, but. Um, like the wither staff? Yeah. That's but, with her name on it, so maybe. The thing is, uh, if she would be inside, uh, you'd see that again once they open uh, this cabinet uh, revealing the. Staff, uh, Silo again would would get a small like headache, and you'd see her just uh, like sort of the veins in her brain just popping for a little bit. But yeah, she's fine after that. Um, but uh, yeah, you see this very almost dark, decayed, rotten staff uh, that um, yeah, the pixie says that. Um, we also have this if you're interested. That looks it's... like the staff of nightmares. <laughs> Perhaps the the um, uh, satyrs we got the, it from uh, uh, said uh, it um, helps with uh, sort of taking uh, energy from plants and giving it to you. And um, that's well, how you do that. We sounds eat like them. We did. Oh right. Does it call you a bitch in the process? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Haven't tried it. I think we should get Silo that for her birthday. Or Silo should get it herself and I knock on the window. Silo! Silo, get in here. <laughs> and I make not, faces towards the staff and towards her. But Silo can I hear you. She's, she's like... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really, but no. Don't do me first. Don't do me first. No, no. No, strepadi cum corde, tata. Well, malicito maleus. Let me purchase something uh, for you. <laughs> so you don't think we're wasting your time. I would like uh, quite valuable portion of 15 gold. Uh, I'm sorry, um, of uh, 13.5 gold of uh, alchemist fire. Hmm. One third in gold, if you want, if you feel generous. Um, I'm not sure if uh, we have it, but I'll check uh, somewhere in the back. And uh, they go a little bit. And uh, you're in luck. You're in luck. This was the last, uh, uh, the last one we we found. And um, yeah. Uh, 13, yeah, sounds good. 13 gold, yes. Okay. That looks a bit dusty. I think it's worth less than they're saying. It looks a little bit dusty. It looks like it's been on the shelf for a while. What if it lost its potency? Normally they don't, but they're only a persuasion. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> it's meant to be, guys. It's meant to be. Let's do it. I have like zero modifiers on charisma checks. <laughs> okay, with that natural twenty, uh, mm -hmm. it will say, um, "Well," and they will whisper to one another, "the the uh, the pixies and you." Uh, wait, you're outside. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, those with higher passive perception would hear that. Uh, um, well, I'm not even sure if it's a uh, alchemist fire. But it's the same. Uh, but maybe but it's been in the back uh, boxes for so long. It's uh, uh, okay. Let's just just give it to them for free. It's fine. I, we want just to uh, get rid of this uh, the stock uh, the box in the back for so long. Um, um, well, um, you do have a point there. We're not sure exactly how this alchemist fire uh, uh, works exactly, uh, but you can have it for free. See? Oh, really? Happy birthday. Oh. Oh, Thank wait, you. it's not your birthday today. I forgot. CP, here is your 43 gold pack. Thank you. Uh, I want to purchase this, and I put uh, four potions, two of greater healing and two of normal mm -hmm. healing. And with a discount. 360. 360, okay. Yes, make this count, Sipi. Remove. <laughs> I did it. I bought potions for my friends and I put in the pink one as well. Oh. <laughs> and I, I'm going uh, away. Bye! So it's a Russian roulette who gets what? Yeah. 
Oh, I thought wow. you just put the pink no. and everything. Do you have? Oh, you could. I, can, I come back with them. Do you have like wrapping paper? I'm not able to see anything. We can find some, yes. Yes, like something colorful and cute. Yes. Uh, colorful and cute. We'll find something. Okay, give me. They give you. So I I get this wrapping, wrapping paper, paper that is full of colors and has mm -hmm. like this swirl of uh, rainbow color that goes in a very uh, weird pattern, organic pattern. And I will wrap all the potions so you don't know which is which. Okay. And I go but with what, it. what if you put the pink? Were we there when you when they gave you the pink baking yeah, potion? Yeah, I was there. And why, I why did you put them in all the? Healing potions. Like so you turn pink except as for you yours, maybe as you if you don't want potion. it. So when potion. in battle, when you <laughs> drink no, the potion, I don't want to we'll turn pink. <laughs> Slightly. Slightly. Like a pinkish hue. A pinkish hue, yes. Alongside the healing. Combined potion. with my earthy tones, that's gonna be a. Yeah, but what about if we make like this Russian roulette thingy? If you promise to laugh when it when you actually die from it, sure. Okay, fine. I'll turn it. But die fire. spelled as you know, dyeing your hair. <laughs> so basically, I I had another potion. So now I have five potions to to raiders be normal, and I'm gonna put Katie and every and each of them, oh including mine. Uh, five. So I'll say that consumes about a quarter of the thing. Of the pink. Of the pink. Uh, Vial that they get. Okay, one quarter. So I still have it. Fine, yeah. and then I will go and distribute them to mm -hmm, amongst mm -hmm, my mm -hmm. friends. Cool. Yeah. Alright. But not yet. I will think who I will give and who I will. <laughs> I will also choose. This buddy is leaving us. Silo doesn't talk to us. Either go back or they maybe they don't oh. need the card. What's pink and green? And beige all over. So I will get one. You can uh, think about it over dinner. Okay. Right? Yeah. Cool. Um, oh, next great. explanation, guys. Drunken fist. Uh, the drunken fist. Yeah. Okay. It yeah. is finally time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, it's, I am uh, excited. Getting a little the bit. Just. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just getting a little bit past afternoon, so it's around two, three. It's um, yeah, when the. Um, bars would uh, open and they would start getting the more um, um, patrons coming in and um, as it happens today also in that place uh, you know that here and there they organize uh, sort of uh, martial arts tournaments yes mm. yeah. Yeah. and um, yeah it's gonna be a bit later on during the evening but uh, yeah you arrive um, at uh, this place, uh, which uh, um, looks a bit more um, rustic, as I said, here in the foreign quarters, um, there are elven buildings, but there is influences from all over the places as well, like some buildings resembling more uh, those uh, from Alacuza and sorts, but uh, this one um, resembles uh, something more of uh, from... Um, no. Opria of sorts, as it's, um, how should I say, rustic, but uh, also think because uh, uh, the structure itself it's actually made of uh, some darker reddish, like dark orangish bricks. So it has um, that almost very early uh, industrial revolution oh, vibe to it. Like no. it's. Um, it has a base uh, that is uh, um, more solid, and then there is bricks over there, and um, it's quite um, squarish in shape. But inside, it's very cozy, as there is. Um, uh, Im it immediately hits you with the um, smell of uh, beverages and uh, freshly cooked uh, goods, and. Um, yeah, decorations uh, around this place um, all uh, display various um, uh, trophies of um, um, martial artists, various uh, <laughs> belts, so to say. And, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's like almost, imagine if you were to enter a pub that's also sort of a gym as you see that uh, like there is the main dining areas but in the far back there is actually an opened uh, so to say uh, ring? Uh, yeah but it's uh, like sand ring it's um, yeah not a like 
pit that you fall down the pit. You know, it's uh, the, the, mm. yeah, for yeah, <laughs> kind of for symbol. It's uh, it's uh, what do you call it? Encircled. Encircled, yeah, circle, yeah. yeah. and uh, the parameter of it shows it that it's kind of um, um, off limits. Uh, no, off limits, but for um, uh, sparring, so to say. Mm. And um, sparring. Yeah. Um, you also see, you would uh, know if you frequent this place, you would uh, recognize the um, um, barkeep of this place, who is uh, a, uh, he's a boxer as well, uh, a, um, a herringon. Mm, that yeah. has a very sort of almost like you know this from being here almost like a kangaroo sort of mm -hmm. fighting as he's very agile and quick punches and uh, but his name is wait give me a second I'm actually picturing Steve. kangaroo uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah Punchalot um, Tobo 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 and uh, you see him that um, yeah he's very lean agile and he has this um, 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 Light grayish uh, fur with uh, elongated uh, ears, um, quite tall, and um, yeah, he's dressed very casually with just a tank top, and uh, he uh, he also seems that he has a few bruises, but uh, kind of uh, kind of wounded, and he sees you, uh, Borland. <laughs> Hi, my man. Seems you've been in some sort of a uh, fist fight recently. Mm. You should see the other guy, Tobo. These are my new friends. Um, Hi there. Let's get them around to warm up and... Uh, how about we enter... How about we all enter the tournament, hmm? Ah, oh, yes, definitely. Yes. I would like uh, to the fight. A round of uh, gut punches? Yeah. Right. You That's the name this. of the drink or like we get a literally <laughs> gut punch? <laughs> you drink the gut it and you'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I combine it with the broad juice? Go wild. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Make yourself comfy. Yeah, we have uh, martial arts journey later on. So, um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go in the back to leave my armor. Sure. Who's Marshall? So, uh, no. like fighting. Is it martial art. Martial um, art. Okay, so we have to strip the armor. Is without the armor? Yes. Okay. And without but any weapon. With and without magic. You're right. right. Without. Yeah. And without magic. Oh, That's oh. just for now. So I can keep my shell. Uh, all all of me is magic. Like I, I don't. That's accepted. Okay. Should we put them in the bag of holding? So we go and we do we have weapons? Uh, no weapons allowed. Yeah, no weapons allowed. Just what? uh. What, what if you can shove? You can use uh, boxing gloves if you want. Oh, okay. Claws. Yeah. What sure if you shove one of them? Hmm. What about magic in itself without magic weapons? <laughs> no magic. No magic. What if you go Putting in without the, the weapons and somehow you get weapons? It's just it's fist fighting, it's guys. Fist it's fighting. just fi you just we just and punch uh, each other and kicks and kicks, yeah, sure. Yeah. And grapples, yeah. no, the good stuff. Right, good, clean, honest, old school fights. Okay. This is where we drink, we fight, and we celebrate. Yeah. What are we celebrating? Uh, the the fact that we're alive, I guess. Oh, okay. Am I allowed to keep one magical item that doesn't uh, affect neither my strength nor the amount that I'm punched with? Sure. The mask. Yes. <laughs> I I was gonna I actually ask you to keep the mask. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're on the same page. All right. So. Um, yeah, you spend the evening and in like two hours or so, there is even um, the same old, uh, old drunken bar that comes around here from time to time and starts playing this uh, very oddly uh, melodic and sometimes out of tune uh, the devil. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
out of tune songs, but um, yeah, he at least provides a bit of uh, melodic ambience. But um, if anything else you wish to do, if not, uh, we can move on to the. Oh, uh, meanwhile, we drink, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so uh, yeah, at this point, actually, I will ask uh, for um, constitution saves. From one day only. Well, mm -hmm. depends. Because wait, wait, wait. The so, uh, those who also drank bro juice. Uh, I think all of us. Yeah, so I will you'd... take the occasional sip. How long okay. ago so, was the brunch? Because I have the second strong. breakfast. It was mm, early in the morning. Yeah, I mean, no, nine, ten. And yeah. now it's now it's three. Okay, so I had at nine, ten, uh, just like a big uh, glass of bro juice. No. But that's then, uh, it's fine. But um, especially you. Uh, yes, I'm. And uh, depending on like again how much you're willing to drink, because like right now you're getting the first round, you're getting the second one and whatnot. Sure. But so what do we feel when we drink it for the first time? The gut punch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you feel uh, like. Um, I don't know, like taking almost a, a, a shot of um, very dark. Um, no, no. Hell, hope not. <laughs> a very um, dark uh, ale, like uh, that. Uh, it's um, so some flavor and so. There is uh, yeah flavor, things. but uh, the aftertaste it's that that makes you go like. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, that's horrible. No way. <laughs> you have something more fruity. I can get a uh, I mean, used to this. Um, they, you can probably find some other uh, stuff as well. Yeah, it's, it's not like just coffee. beer. Yeah. Ask them if they can put the pineapple and the little umbrella in the glass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I've been drinking the whole night, okay. and I just rolled a natural 20. 19. Whoa. Let me see what I rolled. I've been drinking the whole night, um. and I just rolled a natural 9. <laughs> wow. Oh, mine's a 18. Can't save. Yeah. Okay, so you know, I'm disappointed. <laughs> everyone except for uh, Whisper, uh, you're still going strong, although you're a bit uh, red in the cheeks. You're still uh, uh, more or less clear-headed, but Whisper, it's... <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> bro juice. Pile bro juice. I want to roll again. I mean, after a few drinks. Okay, so I have a 17. Hi. You're still Fuck, fine. I'm not going to roll 20. No, let me get drunk. So, soon. I so mean, I that's an option me. always. I have removed the armor and the shield and the everything. And the Are you naked? <laughs> is what is naked? Is this the clothes of the naked? No. No. Uh, uh, Tobo, some water for my friend here. No, just air. <laughs> a, a, air. An empty glass, please. <laughs> Brings you a, a fan. A glass with a fan. Thank you. <laughs> More bro juice and up gut punches. <laughs> Do you want to feel better or, or are you okay like this? Oh. Can you make me feel better? Oh, I think he can. Yeah? How? Are you feeling sick? No, I'm feeling very good. Ah, yeah, so it's fine. You can hug her, Dim. Mm. Ah, not now. Why? Now is the perfect mm. time. And this potato chip is... Potato It's potato chip is... It's very good. Mm. I thought you, you didn't eat. I'm eating, but I'm not pooping anything. I just have so one. you have like rotten berries, rotten no. food in we your went stomach. Went through the anatomy of this in two episodes ago. Asha, uh, three episodes ago or something. Asha, I wasn't Asha. there. I was kidnapped. Okay, we went through this, and they get consumed inside me, and, and this is where I get my energy oof. from. Like air disintegrates matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to go. I, where where does all the uh, alcohol go? Makes sense. In the air. Mm -hmm. Do I smell funny? <laughs> and they smell like boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. So um, 
as uh, the day progresses um, it's starting getting a bit later and um, yeah now uh, as um, um, their Togo is starting to prepare the um, the space area of the pit um, where um, uh, yeah he um, takes out this uh, new championship belt that puts there on a shelf for display for the winner who's, who will be. You see also um, uh, joining in um, three other uh, folks who seem to uh, sign in and uh, get ready for um, the competition. You see a um, um, elven uh, female that um, you've probably seen uh, I mean you've probably seen all of them around if you frequent it enough mm -hmm. um, one of um, them let me see it's uh, she um, her name will be Lyrell and uh, she would have a very uh, like uh, graceful and monk-like uh, sort of style that uh, she's very flexible and does all sorts of uh, kicks and punches and um, there would be another um, um, dwarf uh, that uh, um, he is more on the wrestling maneuver so he likes to grapple and use all those sorts of maneuvers uh, Gemdal and um, then um, um, would also be a, um, you know what Tobo will also join on this one. Why not? Um, that's his more of a boxing type of guy. And but uh, who of you are um, joining on on this one? Uh, Seldrim, I think uh, also Shali will join the uh, fist fight. The fist fight? Yes. Anyway. I am also joining, <laughs> but I am using all of this. Uh, Borland, of course. Okay. I know why you look at me. I'm a halfling with a strength of uh, a like decent strength, but I'm still a halfling. Maybe the game will, uh, will uh, let you use charisma for instead of strength for punching. Eighty-eight two points. <laughs> So, I will you, do I get to the point? Do you join? <laughs> uh, yes, already, an audience so member. Everyone is joining uh, yeah. except me. Now Wait, I'm what? peer pressured. No, because I'm not. Uh, if you want, I cannot join. I mean, I will not. And we'll have problems. Let's, let's just go in the first fight and lose. Like, a couple of <laughs> You can be slap each other. <laughs> you can make sure. Uh, I can be slap you from a distance. <laughs> you can make sure Windward doesn't uh, eat from other tables. No. When I look into. into you wanted side. the dog, not me. You, I'm a cat person. Screw you. You look into one <laughs> side and you see Windwell. <laughs> Zapping from someone's gut punches. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna kill Trash. Uh, Don't we want to give him some bro juice? <laughs> oh man. I All think right. you, they already have some. Title oh. of the episode Bro juice and gut punches. <laughs> nice. Actually, I will not drink. Okay. I will stay. So we have uh, Borland. And I will dress myself back into the uh, whistler. Who's so, drunk? Let's go fight. Come on. Shelly. Shelly, <laughs> children. So we remove the armor, right? And yeah. the shields and everything. Yeah. yeah. Except if, for the shell. What if you're like child size? Can you keep the armor? <laughs> no. <laughs> so are you joining or not? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there's a children's tournament. Super okay, so we are all joining. Next door. And you're joining? Uh, Next to the kids' table in the corner. Yes, I want the kids. Raven <laughs> <laughs> Tobo. Let's quickly go spend all our money on the super strength potion. <laughs> Don't we have some? So... That was the one that was like no. 1,000 gold pieces. <laughs> now DM has to make a choice. How much damage? Do CP's punches do? Oh no, I have it. It's one. Oh, you you, you can do one damage. Yeah, well, mine, do mine. The thing is, uh, this will be so. Um, I'm hitting with Dex is on my board. What what I'm gonna do? It's um. So first of all, there's uh, 
nine of them and I need to see how nice. I put them into groups, into brackets, so to say. You can put me and Draven to fight each other. Yeah, because you're all, because you're both shit. <laughs> so. Can we just yeah. roll for it? I would love to roll for yeah. it. Yeah, 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 sure. Sure. Roll my um, in the turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, just yeah. put, the, put them in them. And, uh, and I'll, I'll then put them in the... Uh, yeah, we take like, the initial yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then we put them one, two by two. And uh, four by four. Yes. Yeah, okay. no, the only thing it's that they're not uh, even numbers. Yes. Uh, they're uh, like odd numbers, so I'm not sure how to group them to by to it. One with one. Just, we can just one. roll initiative, and yeah. then everyone without gets bonuses, and then yeah. everyone. Yeah, everyone has. Yeah, but then there will be one that's left out. Yeah, but it's, it's, uh, no, it's an odd number. It's an odd oh. number. Oh, oh okay, I got it now. What means? I mean, he jumps. Oh, oh, oh ask uh, Tobo. <laughs> Maybe he's he a champion, up. and he jumps. Uh, yeah, she jumps a, a while. No, okay. yeah. Maybe cool. it's Tobo. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, roll uh, everyone. Oh. Wow. Uh, wow. I've been cheated. 19. I have a zero. Without initiative, right? What? Oh, one. Yeah, without, without adding without the one. one. Oh, okay, uh, 17. 14. Uh, an eight. Okay. Oh, so no. We have Whisper. Minus one. 14. Shelly, good? Uh, 17. 17. Why are you speaking Three, man. Man. One. One. I'm drunk, so... Um, uh, Borland is two. I was rolling for the other one. So uh, Borland oh, no. two. So Borland <laughs> goes in the first <laughs> round. Five. So five. Five. Uh, five. So you're the second one. You're with uh, uh, CP. Oh no. Children. Children. How much? Uh, it was an eight. Eight. Oh, so <laughs> it's uh, Draven, Sildren, and Shelly, and Whisper probably. So wait, how much did you roll? One. Oh, one. So it's the oh, new team in the first round. One, Draven and Borland. Borland with... It's going to be fun. So we have Borland with... Uh, Draven. Draven. I'm making the brackets now. Oh. Okay. Uh, then it was Sippy with Sildren? Sippy and... Yeah. Um, Sippy and Sildren, yes. Okay. Can I possess Sildren? <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me check if I can... Okay. Soldier just has to do this. And uh, then uh, who, because you got an 8, who's next? Uh, I am a 17. And 14, it's me. 14. Uh, okay, then it will be you versus Tobo. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, hey, oh mama. Am I with the monk lady? Um, you, how much did you roll? 17. Uh, Yes, you are with the monk lady. Um, <laughs> My thank you. <laughs> so, um, this is Shelly. Um, Shelly versus uh, I'm going Lyra. to sit on her? <laughs> and, uh, you have such good hearing. And, uh, well, um, yeah, I'll say that... Uh, we'll say that G uh, Gindal was uh, uh, the previous champion, so he will... Uh, um, Fight whoever... In, uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. Right, so um, what, how I'm gonna rule this is that uh, we're not gonna do attacks or yeah. anything, mm -hmm. we're just gonna do strength checks. Oh. Um, so uh, just yes. strength oh, checks. But I had uh, so, so much. And, and it I will be like three rounds. So, so first anyone round. Can win. Hmm? Yeah. Anyone can win. Yeah, yeah. anyone can win. Yes. Um, so yeah, it will be three rounds each combat, so kind of like three checks. And. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, so at the same time, everyone and then no, we'll... we should start per groups. I well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first bracket, the first bracket, which is Borland versus Draven. Okay. Yeah. I step into the ring. Yeah. I spit yeah. near my leg because I've seen it in movies. <laughs> 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 yes, and I say, prepare to get your ass whooped. Whoop. Thanks, usually. You're welcome. Bring it on, that guy. So first round. Thirteen. Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go for a sucker punch. <laughs> like immediately you're, you're, you're oh. taken off. Of you want to be put in the ground proper. Oh, yeah, yeah, he kind of the first round he gets you by surprise with he's a bit ah, I'm yeah. dead, but I'm quick. <laughs> <laughs> you're quick. <laughs> Nine. Thirteen! <laughs> 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 Okay. I've learned it from my master. I it's, it's, it's starting to bleed, guys. It's 
Oh, oh unbelievable. My five. God. <laughs> oh, no, five! <laughs> what is your modifier? Plus uh, two. Plus, plus, one, three. plus three. And plus we don't. Uh, uh, you apply the modifier, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's with the modifier it's applied. I no. had like, just strength. Just strength. Um, straight up strength. strength. Okay. I have really bad rolls. Wow. Five. Uh, it's uh, five for me too, but you took me at uh, the uh, pluses. But so. still, this is uh, two rounds yeah. that you've won. Because oh. it's it's not like uh -huh. you. Uh, this sort of fighting is not until somebody dies. Or, oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's more like, like you know, it's, uh, it's like point based. It's like sparring and yeah. Uh, yeah Taubo over there, who was also going to be the referee, he sees that uh, like uh, this counts as a uh, you know like in so, boxing. So Taubo is the referee hmm? and also player. Why not? Yeah. Who's going to referee him? Hmm? Uh, we, we can say the champion yeah, yeah, is the referee. Yeah. Uh, you can referee as well. You've been here. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, basically, yeah. It, some, yeah. Describe. Uh, Tell me how you smack my. <laughs> no, because. <laughs> It's equal, it's a draw. Yeah, but draw. you still have oh. two. If you want, wins. we can do the. You punch me in the face, I punch you in the face. Sure. And we well, take a moment. Uh, and I lose, right? Yeah. Yes. Go oh my god, that was. Well done, Draven! I'll, uh, I'll want a rematch someday. I can't believe I you won. Does Whisper oh, seem impressed? I put money on him. Maybe drink Whisper this. is very impressed. Oh. 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 It's a 17. Oh. 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 I thought you were going to die. Because he's very strong. I know. And he has scars. And he's very I handsome. I think he has what more scars. Him? Look. <laughs> no, I, I'm... Um, yeah. I have the mask. Yeah, but... Uh, oh, you're showing my... No. Oh, I, have. <laughs> no, 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 no. I forgot to say, but at this point there is even a um, crowd gathering up and they're cheering and uh, oh, it's oh, happy oh, 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 oh. yeah. So, next, uh, next we have Zippy versus Sildred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going towards the crowd and oh, trying to make a spectacle. Like, yeah. 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 I hear people laughing in the you know. background because <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, Sildred turns towards the crowd and not. roars on them, frightening them. Yeah. It's fine. But, uh, they continue shouting and cheering. Let's go. All right. Let's go. So, just strength checks. Oh no, I want to rub it on. Oh, fuck. Man. It's a six. It's a nine. Oh! oh okay. yeah. It's uh, my nine. Still, you win the first round if you want to I describe it. Uh, I, I just... Uh, <laughs> I just... <laughs> sit there and uh, while uh, CP throws punches, I just go out of the way. Just hold it. Stand still so I can hit you! Uh, okay. Again, again, again. Round, round two. One, uh, one finger. Oh, okay. like fuck. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Round two. Do it. It's Do a fourteen. Oh. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh. 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 Yeah. So. Pretty much you win because it's two out of three. Yeah. Why? But we roll two times. Well, well that's yeah, because even if you win next time, it's still two, two out of three. Out of three. Oh, okay. yeah. But yeah, this um, I would uh, let you win the second round so that yeah. I can win in the f third round. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, it might not work so, though. I would. Yeah, but don't worry. Hey, don't take all my luck. I will roll poorly on my turn. You can rub it on me. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. So uh, I would uh, sleep on the ground I've been in the doing second for six round, years, but... and uh, I will let you, you know, bend my uh, foot uh, behind me, like ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they do it in cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. I will go in the corner and then jump on it. Ha! Ah, when you got number four. <laughs> 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 and when you hear like a squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Yay! The, the, the crowd is still entertained and drunk, and they. Again, 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 again. 
Oh, yeah. But you said you were only letting yeah. her to win the yeah. second one. Yeah, twice. Oh, so that's a... Okay, I Well, you said it. You so, said it! Oh, oh my god. god. I said I would let her win the second one yeah. so I can win the third. Yeah. yeah. So this is the third. So this is no. the third. <laughs> but anyway, no. I'm oh, not okay, now I... Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I wrote the 13. <laughs> Natural turkey. Natural turkey. Oh no. Put him in the back holding. I would. Just pick you up. Let me down now. Okay. Now. I forfeit. What the hell is this? I I thank you. I ran away. Ran away. Oh man. All right. Next. It's Whisper versus Tobo, oh. and uh, you will roll with this at the fat the jump You're the only one who. Come on, babies, we can do this. Five, we have a yeah. minus two. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> and we roll with this advantage. So Whisper is legitimately very drunk. She's. They are going into the into the uh, uh, the ring. pit, the pit, the ring, whatever, and they start to like do dancing maneuvers. <laughs> you sure you're okay, you're okay there, lass? Come on. What is Let's dance. Okay, let's dance. Ooh. <laughs> Indeed, quickly just hop to the side. Down your rate, really the end the I race. would like to make this as entertaining as it's possible for you guys at home, so let's see what the dice is uh, saying. Wow! <laughs> I one. have a minus two! <laughs> okay. Natural so, one. Natural one with a for a total of minus two. This <laughs> one just flips <laughs> on, on their back. Without being touched? Um, yep. Have I... Did I take it right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said! <laughs> And I'm not kidding, I rolled the natural 20. It's fine. Uh, wow, he, the extremes. Yeah, like, um, at first he was, he was kind of just trying to test you, so he wasn't going actually for physical contact. He was trying, you know, to gather like his arm length, you know, test this, and he was throwing in some, you know, wild punches. And at some point he throws one into your face, but not not to hit you, like around this, this, this. Distance. Yeah. And because yeah, this Whisper distance. is very drunk, yeah. they thought they are being hit and they yeah. just and uh, the motion, back. the motion of air, you feel yeah. it as a full impact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's a bit confused. No, is this a double I'm, double I'm, me? I'm, I'm sure I haven't hit in your last. <laughs> you okay? Oh, I, I am the excellent. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's they, go. They, la the, they launch in this speed run that Whisper is uh, used to doing, and they got, get very close at the small tornado, uh, just lifts him up a little bit in the air, and they said, I forgot what, what we're doing here. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> let's roll, baby. Wow. It's a six. <laughs> it's a 17. Wow. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow! So, uh, <laughs> going circles around. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, and uh, yeah, he's quite agile, and you being drunk, like, he's moving a bit too fast at this he's point. He's doubled. Like, uh, and uh, yeah, you're not sure, like, he's moving, and his stance is quite uh, spot on, and uh, he, like, fake punches and uh, hits you a little bit and poof, gives you a punch. And Whisper being confused why they are there, and they start hugging. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hugging them as they throw sucker punch at, at their belly. <laughs> and the crowd goes, aww. And yeah, he, he taps your back and uh, like hugs you and says, Can we go the third round just for uh, funsies. Do it. funsies? Okay, so the third one is uh, also a six. Um, same. And. Um, they stay there, hugging they each other, <laughs> and people get bored. Like, Boo! Oh, what is this? Something wrong. Kill her! Kill her! Kill the blue one! Boo! No <laughs> Okay, this is it. Kipa, you suck! <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Oh my god. Why should I? I suck on an acorn. <laughs> Alright, um, well then, next round it's Shelly versus Lyrell, and um... Fuck around. Yeah, you, you see her that um, she know. just wore some uh, uh, plain. <laughs> this is the loser table. We plain, all lost. Uh, white uh, baggy. Yeah. Um, 
what do you call it, uh, trousers, right. and uh, she only has like wraps around her chest area and around her um, her knees and her uh, arms. Did uh, you hurt your body? <laughs> <laughs> um, Why is it bandaged? And, and she she looks uh, a bit more serious as she goes into a, a very exotic sort of pose and um, she says. <laughs> Let's see how good. What good? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be a 13. It's gonna be an 8. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Um, so I imagine like this. <laughs> Uh, what's her name? Uh, Lyrell. Lyrell. Ly so Lyrell comes towards me, yes. uh, and I, I simply just stand there, and as I see her approaching, I will just <laughs> with my shell for <laughs> and knock her on her ass. Yeah, more. <laughs> like, uh, uh, she was trying to go like for uh, sort of the fancy maneuver of just spinning and trying to do something, uh, but uh, yeah, you just like, oh. <laughs> you just take it out of surprise. You just yeah. bump her, <laughs> <laughs> and she falls uh, back on uh, her. Uh, she falls down on her back. So oh, I'm sorry. Did the bandages help? <laughs> <laughs> so next one. Bye. Oh my okay. good walls are... Yeah. 13. It's a 12 this time. Oh. Yeah, so Tight. close, so close, so close. I okay. Okay. So as... Uh, as she's on, 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 on her back, uh, you are taken uh, Yeah, I, by... I, I go to look to see, just to maybe extend the yeah. hand to... But uh, she immediately uh, like jumps uh, from uh, being down and uh, immediately like as she jumps she even lands an attack like she jumps and takes you by surprise as she... Uh, like with the elbow. <laughs> Oh, that was okay. Okay. Uh, uh, that was not nice. I would like to rage. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on, Shelly, you got this. Uh, you can I have advantage. advantage? Yeah. You're here. Cool that boots. <laughs> I will. Make her the dead. <laughs> Okay, it's nice. Is this okay? Uh, yeah, it's a third. Ula, proud of you. <laughs> okay, uh, and like I, I take her, her above yeah. my head and like spin around with her <laughs> and just throw her in the net. Hit <laughs> her with the ground. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 I take my feet off the ground. <laughs> Mix her up with the earth. Yeah. And yes, she. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Oh, wow! And I tried to pick you up and you hit me. Oh, that was not nice. Oh. And the uh, tumble goes and that's a match! Good ah. job, Shelly! Woo! Woo! Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yay. So we have Lyra, that's it. So now uh, it's the, the semi finals. Yeah. With uh, uh, Lyra, Tobo, Sildren, and Shelsey. Uh, yeah, so the first bracket it's Draven versus Sil Sildren. Oh, and I'm with uh, Tobo. Tobo. Oh, wow. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Even has a bell there that. Ding, 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 ding. ding. <laughs> This is very exciting. I don't know with who to root for. It's a, it's a 16. It's a 16. <laughs> <laughs> 16. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Draven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh. Don't crack his mask. Draven. Hit him in the gun. Win also this one, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two. Because I rolled a natural one. Oh, it's an eleven. Oh no! He's all yours, finish him! Take his fire from my bottle. Uh, I gave you a carpet. Borland smiles from the sides as he feels avenged. I don't feel avenged, Draven. Uh, what the heck? Uh, Draven, do you by any chance want to go a third round? No. I'm fine. I'm over here. Okay. 
cool. So, Sildren wins this. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, the other sem- semi final between Shelly and Tobo. Hello. Hello. <sighs> oh, let's see. I saw you're your under fight. Good, good, good news. Good. Do you know of the tale of the portal in the Herringon? <laughs> ah, steady wins the race. Yes, I am quite steady. Well, not that fast, but steady. Let's go. Let's go. Um, nice. It's, um, <laughs> fourteen. It's a night. Yeah. So um, immediately, like, uh, yeah, he's a bit more agile and quick, and he immediately just punches you like with a quick jab on on the side. I what would should have seen that coming. I would like to um, do a little chant and say, "Put him to the rest. Shelly is the best. Oh, 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 Shelly is the best." <laughs> Into the rest. Shelly is the best. Woo, Sonia. Rage. 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 Yeah, actually, yes, because I was hit. Okay. Thank you, friends. Is she inspired? Well, she is raging. She will have advantage. But she is inspired, I'm guessing. You are, right? Yes. (laughs) Okay. What's the name of the hammer cock? Best. Uh, Put him to the the rest. Shelly is the best. Put him to the rest. Shelly is the best. 18. Put him to the rest. 17. Wow! Your move. I get upset and I just plunge forward with my head and just tackle him and put him to the ground. That's it, okay. This is very intriguing. (laughs) Okay. Last no, no, round. No, that's one. Come that's on, Shelly is the best. Put him to the rest. Shelly is the best. 20. Oh, yeah, 14 on his part. So, oh, yeah. so I keep Still there. I keep sitting on him and just uh, lean all my. Okay, 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 you fall. Ah. Ooh, it's hard to breathe. Ah. 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 You bite the dust, son. Uh, you bit. Uh, bit yeah. <laughs> Good fight. Good fight. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay. So. Get into the chopper eye. <laughs> uh, now, people um, are even more excited. There is a small break which you all will take a minute to refresh before the, um, the main event. The main event, which will be uh, Sildren vs. Shelly, who will then get the opportunity to, <laughs> to fight the previous champion, uh, Gendel. Yeah. I will go uh, at Shelly and massage her back behind the shell and feed her water and be like, you can totally do this, take out my cousin. <laughs> like, he doesn't like being scratched here behind the left ear. Uh, and sometimes oh, when you pull like... his whiskers, he's like, he doesn't enjoy that. And I will put my hand on Shelly and say, you've got this. Destroy. <laughs> oh, no. Still <laughs> <laughs> so I... uh, not there. He's... Uh... Have I just realized something oh, I wanted. He's, he's yes. a friend. I wanted to bless you, but I, then I realized, oh, you're fighting Sildren, so it. I mean, maybe to the one that's in the final. Yeah. Yeah. Which is gonna yeah. be me. Okay. We're gonna kick, get kicked out of the city, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm leaving voluntarily, but okay. <laughs> this city. Right. So, um, final uh, match. Well. Do we do no. wagers? Do we, do no. we wager? No, no, no. Get, let's, get your let's, let's put money on it. Yes, I Borla, put money on Shelly. Borla, do, would you like to put money on it? Yes, put money on it. <laughs> I would like to bet on myself. <laughs> Uh, I yeah, f- uh, 50 gold on children. I am not a gambler, so I will not pay. I do not have money, but I will take yours. <laughs> 50 gold on children. Also, it's not yeah, it's good, <laughs> Uh, Draven, can I have some money? How much? 50 gold. Okay. Oh, have oh, oh. Zero okay. gold. So we have okay. a sugar mommy so and a sugar daddy gold. in the group. Okay. <laughs> 50 gold on 
Oh man. Right. When one of our friends. I got <laughs> gold. Do you feel that's ambiguous? You're gonna win if you say that. That's oh, okay. stupid. Come on, even even my die is getting dizzy. <laughs> okay, I'm picking. <laughs> yeah. So uh, no. One to ten is uh, Shelly. The the the. Eleven to twenty. Shelly, picking Shelly. I would Do I have to split my well. money with you? Oh my god. With Draven, because it's Draven's money. Fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, uh... Let's do it. Yeah. First round. How about six? Ten. Oh! oh. oh. You're moving, Uh... I don't want to hit Soldier so hard, so I'm oh. just gonna... I'm just gonna come at you with the punches, but then just turn around and just... No, okay. <laughs> You're gonna shell, shell bomb uh, yes. Yeah. Still lets out, uh, lets out a bit of... Meow. <laughs> yeah. It hurts my meow meow. <laughs> I yell from the crowd, no pulling punches! <laughs> I didn't pull anything, I pushed him. <laughs> what is punch, 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 bro punch, bro punch, bro punch, bro punch, and whisper will jump the crowd, bro punch on top of you guys, bro punch. No, no. Don't get my good roast. <laughs> okay, let's go. Round two. Round two. Ooh. It's a six. Twelve. Ooh. Whoa! Mm. That bro punch got to the to children. Rage, rage. Ah, uh, rage! You 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 hit him. Yeah. So yeah. But I, I it depends him. how many rages you have left. But you have left, and you get rage if you hit someone or you get hit. Yeah. You have okay. You have advantage. But I didn't really. I just oh, yeah. pushed okay. him. Yeah. It's your part. Okay, your part. But yeah, uh, two rages. Your so first side's on two left. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. So, um, <laughs> so, children, your move. Um, I would apply the same tactic. See if it works. <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't think really, I, I just move a bit. Is this shoulder bumping contest? <laughs> shoulder bumping. Uh, Tobo like... says, uh, looks like. Um, well, okay. if you want a bit something more. Uh, that's a bit more violent. Uh, wait for the champion. Uh, Rinda, it's a bit more grisly, so to say. No. Fight. 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 I don't mind. Fight. 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 Twenty-three. Oh, I've lost my money. Me too. Me too. Look what you did. You win money. Oh, great. One thousand fifty gold. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred fifty. Look what you made me do. How do you? Yeah. I, uh, uh, seeing how the crowd is disappointed, I would uh, start uh, uh, giving two punches. <laughs> In the head? Or? Uh, you know, with the body. In the boobs. <laughs> In the <laughs> shells. <laughs> In the shell? Sure. Okay. No, I think the head's the most effective. Because then you, I, I can't really feel anything in the shell. Well, I don't think you have... I have to knock you out, so... No, but he just can bother me. <laughs> so, what's happening? What do we see? As I said, like... Uh, I am, like... Put the heat. Yeah, not knocked after, out, but, like... Yeah, very dizzy and... Very dizzy and uh, I just fall on my butt. Yeah. Like, hmm. So, the one... Uh, now... Um, that is... Um, up for... Uh, challenging the previous champion, it's Sildren, everybody, and uh, Sildren. 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 I go. Uh, uh, can I go to Sildren and uh, I, I, I put a hand on his shoulder and I whisper in his ear. I want to find. Um, make sure you pay attention to the grapple, and may she guide your punches and I cast bless on him. Oh Roll me a slate of hand. Ah share this. And oh, I go from shit. the other side oh, and I put my hand on him and cast. Yes. Natural 20. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, uh, definitely, like, because uh, Tobo has been looking around, um, he, yeah, there are a lot of people over there, he needs from time to time to make sure with his uh, other barkeep to make sure everything is alright, so he managed to find a time when um, he has this without drawing attention. Actually, no, so I'm, not, your I'm not putting my hand on him, I'm just spanking his ass and casting guidance. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a touch, so. Yeah. You have guidance too. Guidance. Yes, uh, uh, but the, it doesn't yeah, like this to attack, is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. both ability checks and yeah. the, but representing the attack. Okay. So I, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay yeah. with just. I don't know. Okay. 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 Dwarven guy who is uh, bare chested and uh, quite stout. He um, has a bit of a what do you call mohawk oh, nice. and um, quite a few tattoos. He's, and you see him that he has quite big muscles. He's a beefy boy. Uh, and um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh, he practices all of his uh, muscles. Let's do this, big boy. Baba Exactly, Baba Because normally, like this, includes also sort of attack. So this strength trick is a more general thing. It encompasses more. But anyway, uh, right. So, um, so for the bless, he doesn't get anything. Yeah, no, he gets the one before. Yeah. 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 And for the guidance? No, no, because just ability checks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, so that's uh, 23. Wow! <laughs> yeah. uh, on his side, it's just uh, 14. Yeah, I uh, I show my training. Okay. Yeah. And he takes so. out a, like a gym suit. <laughs> my training. <laughs> yeah. I think wow. Like <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Uh, after that, so basically you just punch him yeah. a few times. Okay, cool. But uh, after that, he he smirks a little bit. He spits out some blood, and you see him turning a bit more red, and some veins oh. pumping up, and he's raging as well. Oh no! Oh. 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 Come on! Come on. Oh. Okay, go. oh my god! Natural one for uh, five, six. Uh, 22. Uh, all right, so after that, uh, now that he's raging, he sees all the attempts you want to do, and uh, he immediately deflects them. And kind of as soon as he deflects them, it puts you a bit uh, like uh, um, off, um, and uh, you know, it leaves you vulnerable for just a, pl a split second, enough for him to just jump and now be sort of on your back and grappling you like by the neck not trying to strangle you of course but more like grappling you on the back and trying some maneuvers to pull you to the ground but he's got you locked it whoa so okay Sildren, get up! Get up! You can get do this, Sildren! Get up, Sildren! Sildren fighting for the Sildren family! Sildren is the best! What was his name? Sucks! <laughs> so? So close! So close! You almost like you shake it. I try to get him off, but he just stands there quite, quite uh, strongly, and and uh, he finds a way to use sort of your own weight and drag you down, and he immediately kind of then spins with you and puts you like in a pinned position that you're having a rough time just moving and you're locked in there and uh, yeah Tobo will um, come over and count three two one and uh, Gimdal the ding, 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 ding. Gimdal the um, um, reigning champion maintains his uh, position and uh, yeah the crowd is woo and um, I'm not close enough uh, that's it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Topo says uh, another uh, round of drinks to all the participants. It's on the house. Yeah. Let's yeah. go, everybody! Good, good entertainment tonight. And Let's yeah, go on the, house. Well, the people also have <laughs> <Bad> here. <punches. laughs> oh man! 
Right. Uh, right. So, after you take uh, some moments to get a breather, take a breather, you then all uh, gather around the table and... Uh, get drunk. Uh, sure, you can. Or try to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try to. And... Um, yeah, you're having good times to relax. Anything else you wish to do specifically before ending the night and the session as well? So I just want the, to uh, the exit. I just want to say that it has been an honor Rear. to get to know you, to get to win beside you, and to get to lose next to you. Good drinking, good fighting. And a good life to all of you. Real life. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Oh, I'm glad yeah. we met. Uh, may you uh, save the world for a third time, I guess. Well, it's not gonna be the same without you guiding us and making decisions for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe at some point we'll meet again. Uh, may you get together with Silverleaf. To Borland and Silverleaf, everyone! To Borland! Um, if, uh, if your steps guide you to, uh, to my city again, please don't forget to, uh, to look for me. We will definitely look for you, Borland. We will send here, send your message. Yeah. Do not, not get not now. creeped out because, because it will not make any sense. We will not may be put together and we will probably not share the location where we're at or ask where you're at. So, be wise. So he'll just be in my head for yeah. no reason, apparently. Yeah. It will happen right when you swallow a big chunk of meat or something and you... <laughs> are, are you trying to kill me? No. no, it's just how it usually happens. Or maybe when you're farting. Yeah, we got this thing that we call people when it's not okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just bad timing. We don't have the best of luck with that, you know? It's but then we, we can predict it. Yeah, and then we compensate for the, all the world saving. I mean, yeah. you can tell us your schedule. And maybe we go from there, like from hey till the sun is here and here yeah, you go cold. Like, I'm going to be a commander now, and uh, you'll have my, a lot of my, time. My, probably my 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 routine will be is going to change, so I don't know yet. But what are you talking about bad timing? You were uh, just on time to rid this city of corruption. Yeah. So thank you. We well, thank you. And thank you. And uh, I hug, uh, try to hug, uh, Whisper. <laughs> whisper will ju get very close to you and say, I didn't do this properly. And then you will feel this swirl of winds around you and you lift up and your hair, your bundle of hair just flows. And you feel like this tingling sensation, like also you're left without air because it feels like Whisper is like sucking all the air. Be it be uh, inside of you, but also you're very uh, uh, oxygenated. I don't know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of flow of oxygen inside, so you also feel you have a high refreshed. So you all have a high of oxygen. Mm. That was like a reverse fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do this all the time. So every wow. time you fart, you think of them. Yeah. Uh, they said it's very rude, so I have to do the Benjamin, means I have to stay away a arm's length. An arm. So I don't do the, uh, an arm's length. Yes. We didn't say it was rude, we said that it's unusual. Yeah. And seeing how they look and how people react to how they look and the whole time behind the temple says thing. Ah. Let's not add another layer of what the is going on. I mean, they know better to human more than me, so... I have two weeks of experience. Wow, well, I, I, I really can't get over that. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, and thank you. Um, we thank you, Borland, and don't forget what we talked. Yes. We don't need someone like you. Yes, we need to make the tough decisions, and people also need people to look up to. Exactly. 
Excuse me, what happened? Guys, it's not, it's not, not of your business why I do. Good question. Oh, good answer. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Why are cool. all of the suddenly you guys are not drunk anymore? Why are we are drunk? drunk. Oh, you're, you're not. You did all my checks. Twenty seventh last one. <laughs> I've chose apparently to fail. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's also a, um, a willing decision you yeah. know, to <laughs> to get plastered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. So um, with that, I'm guessing uh, you all make slowly your ways uh, till uh, till your quarters. You still have rooms at. Uh, at uh, your old steam pump <laughs> that you've uh, oh, got cool. previously and um, yeah another um, just great day of hanging out and uh, taking a bit more time for yourselves uh, as they sleep yeah. whisper wants to do something okay everyone is sleeping whisper just <laughs> pretending to sleep near windwell they are rising <laughs> And they are coming and say goodbye to everyone, uh, having a gust of wind petting them, or just flickering a bit their hair and uh, and saying goodbye. And they turn on their heels, take their bag and leave. And one more fuck. And Windworld stays behind. Do we have passive perception? Oh, yeah. no, I, can't I can roll a stealth. I mean, let me roll sure, a and let I allow stealth. you to roll with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, Take one disadvantage because we drank yeah. and we fought. Well, <laughs> yeah. What's a 19, my stealth? It's a 21, my stealth. Perception. Ooh, yeah, with disadvantage. My perception is minus one, so I don't know how <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... Two! <laughs> <laughs> you go like... <laughs> no, I go like... <laughs> 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 yeah, so... What oh. about you guys? Oh. <laughs> also two? <laughs> right, cool. And um, you motherfucker. With that, uh, we'll end the, the episode here, guys, and um, we'll see what uh, uh, awaits our heroes uh, next. Before we but end, before. I just need to mention this is a small hit on my forehead, <laughs> but it's mostly makeup. Uh, and uh, uh, and here is the makeup artist oh. right next. To me. Oh, the whisper. Thank you. Right, and um, but also it, it was naturally very beautiful, so we just yeah. enhanced it a little bit. And also, before we uh, leave, we have our uh, fun fact. But before we go into the fun fact, more surprise, we're gonna take a little bit of break. I don't remember oh, if right. it's one week or two, but check the schedule on Instagram. And we're gonna come up with uh, with the uh, surprise adventure for oh, uh, Halloween. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> then, then after this, we're gonna have a yes. master mask for Halloween, and after this, we're gonna have a short adventure with the community. But stay tuned. Yep. So basically, oh, we will have like... a twenty <laughs> between us. <laughs> No. No? <laughs> no! Am I that stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask that. You failed your saving throws on intelligence. So chill. Task failed success. So, <laughs> Halloween, then the aftermath, which is the Q&A and something something. Then a little oh, bit of break and a short adventure with the community. Oh! <laughs> oh so yeah, it's Gehetme. Okay. Oh, what's the Gehetme? Anyway. We're gonna see. What's the fun fact, guys? So, Mihai Eminescu! Oh! Yeah. Born in Batoshan, a Moldavian country, was a poet, novelist, and journalist. His literary works were part of the Romantic movement, like this episode, which introduced such aspects as the sublime, the grotesque, the fantastic, the macabre, my favorite, and the enchanting. His magnum opus, Lociaforul, you might know it, was officially declared in 2009 by the World Record Academy as the longest love poem in the world. 
it has 90 stanzas, holy hell, and above all else, it is considered the last milestone in Europe's romantic poetry. Another fun fact, our oh. teacher, liter uh, literary teacher? Well, how yeah. do you call it? Yes, yeah. uh, yeah. Romanian literature. In uh, literature, yeah. high school, told us that if we did not do our homeworks, we had to transcribe the whole Lucia Foro every time. I did it. Five times. <laughs> so, oh, oh, I have oh that you all of it by all of it. The, 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 yeah, yeah kind of. I, I barely knew the first few yeah. Yeah. Mm. And after, And before we leave, we want to thank you, Bogdan, for yeah. joining yeah, thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We hope we have you soon again. Yeah. Or uh, a series or maybe future content. Mm -hmm. okay, it was very fun, but we're going to see. Well, yeah. Hope to be back. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So thank you also guys for joining us tonight and until next time, bear hugs, good night. Yeah. And